Diamond Peter Gregory of this I know that data is very expensive. So if you use your money to buy data, use it wisely. One place, the only place you can get premium quality movies is on Roxelli TV. Don't touch the die. Keep watching Roxelli TV. And thanks to SZK. Okay, His Excellency. Yes, I'm running for President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2023. You're already there? Yes. If you doubt me, go and verify. I will go and verify. Eight thousand eight hundred. Eight hundred, sir. That's eight thousand eight hundred. It's too much. 
time, please. Give us a minute. Thank you. Eight thousand eight hundred is too much. How many? Please, don't try to embarrass me here again. I put you out to give you a treat. Trust me, stupid. home from here? Yes. How? It's not a problem. Our house is only 10 kilometers away from here. And it is not good. Because if I track for 10 kilometers, I would have uh, got about 625 calories. And it is good for the body. So, I should go to the market. Why you track home? Let me track. 625 uh, calories. That is what I will burn when I take for 10 kilometers. It is good for the body. Man, the way get sensual. Man, the way get a better plan for the people. Now, who be that? It's all be. Man, the way love of God. Man, the way bring joy. Man, the way get much. For the people, I say, now who be that to? Be to oh, me. Oh, oh. You gotta carry everybody along. Uh. You know they discriminate. Uh. You know they like to be late. Uh. This man, a superman, no. Oh. Tested and trusted. Be to me. Oh, yeah. So, honey, how about the police man in making this food? 4,000 naira. Eh? 4,000 naira only. And the food looks this good and plenty. It will be enough for us, even more than enough for our children. Can we just eat this meal in peace? You've made your point, right? So please focus and eat. Are you saying you're not happy we save some food amount of money? I'm saying that you stress me too much. I was tired from work. I didn't make any plan of entering the kitchen. You didn't only make me go to the market. You made me enter the kitchen. So please, let, let, let me be. Leave me alone. Focus and eat your food, please. Thank you. Have you 
pray now. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh Lord, please bless this food and sanctify it and make it good for us to eat and have life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Man away get sensual. Man away get a better plan for the people. Now who be that too? Be toppy. Man away love a god. Are you serious? So that was exactly what happened. No, 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 I that girl was a bad girl. Virginia, my husband just walked in, okay? I'll call you back later. No, no, I'll get back to you. Alright, bye. Honey, that was Virginia. I know. You talk to her every day for the past six months. And what are the kids? The kids are fine, I'll drop them in school. Yes, are you not going to work today? Hey! Honey! Do you know the water I brought for Betty must have gotten cold? Sorry, I will go and get ready that to work. You know, you know, you know, um, Virginia must, must have something to chase whenever she comes. Hey, she always has something to tell you. And you, you're always listening. Yes! I left here by 7.20 a.m. I came back around 8.25. Because I met uh, heavy traffic on the road. That is one hour. You were still on the phone talking. Why? What are you people talking about? Eh? Mobile operators charge seven naira per minute. So if you talk for 60 minutes, that's about 480 naira. You, you talk almost the whole day. 365 days calculated. You will see how much you are wasted on call. You are wasted on economy. It is wrong. Gregory, please. It's too early for this. Don't just start. Don't start, please. I don't, I'm, I'm not in the mood for this this morning, please. You have me. to be in the mood because I am being factual. Yes, many people in Nigeria complain of poverty, complain of poor economy, but if you see how much they are spending, wasting on frivolities, you stop beating them. It's none of my business. I can't remember asking you money for, for airtime. Did I? So please, don't start with your sentimental attitude this early morning. I don't like it. Don't start. I have to tell you the truth. You are my wife. You go back and believe you see that you are wasting money. How are you helping the economy of the country? It is wrong. It is wrong. So I can't, I can't, I can't even make calls again, eh? No, I can't even make friends. Because I have, I have a, a, a husband who is an antisocial human being. Who wants to inculcate his own lifestyle into my own. I won't let that be. I won't allow you to that. So leave me alone. Uh, tell have... me anything you like. I have to tell you the truth. It is wrong. Oh, when I was governor of Anambra, I did well. Because I was checkmating all the people working for me. I will not allow them to waste one naira. Not even keep, one naira. That is how I did well. It is wrong. And I saved a lot of money for the government. Yes. If you doubt me, go and verify. What you are doing is wrong. And I will tell you the truth. Shop yesterday, I, I noticed your customers were searching for you. They didn't see you. Why? Oh, yesterday I went for prayers. You see your life. You are supposed to use a weekdays to, to work, to hustle in your shop and make money. But no, you are using weekdays to, to, to go to church when you should go to church on Sunday. <laughs> Please, Peter, don't start. I know you don't go to church. That is where you are wrong. I go to church every Sunday. I don't miss it. In fact, I can still recite the homily of last Sunday for you. Very clearly, word for word. <laughs> this is not by Sunday service alone. Let me even ask you. How much of your time do you dedicate to God every week? Every Sunday, I dedicate two hours of my time to God. Every Sunday, I go to church two hours. In addition to that, every day, morning mass is 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. That is how I charge myself for the day. And then I come out and start hustling. Looking for uh, money to take care of myself, take care of my family, and contribute to the economy of the country. Um, Peter, you are right. But the truth of the matter is that nothing is working in this country. And the worst part of it is that things keep increasing by the day. That is why we run to God for a change. <laughs> why are you laughing? 
Because what you are begging God for, he has already given you, but you are not seeing it. What we keep begging God for, he has given us in this country, but we do not see it. Yes! God has given us so many mineral resources. He has given us oil, he has given us coal, bam, so much. Yet we keep misusing those things. That is why Nigeria is where it is today. I'll give you another example. Our lawmakers earn about 29 million naira per month as salary. Meanwhile, minimum wage is 30,000 naira, which means an average uh, government worker, civil servant, it will take him 82 years to make the kind of money that the uh, uh, senator is making in government. It is wrong. Why would they not steal? It is wrong. So we need to stop praying. The problem is not prayer. Look around you, every street has 10 judges, every street has 10 judges, yet things are going from bad to worse. Our country is going down the drain. I keep telling them, let us build few judges and use the money to build schools. Let us build factories, facilities, so we can produce more and export and make money and employ our people and have more workforce. But no, that is why the country is going down the drain. These are the things that I, I worked so hard to, to, to change when I was governor and I was able to sanitize my state. These are things that are wrong. We cannot continue like this. Ephraim, you are also part of the problem. For instance, yesterday your customers were waiting for you. You didn't open your shop. Sales you would have made, you would have made money and contributed to the economy of the country. No, you use that time to go and pray. It is wrong. It is not normal, it is wrong, so you should also examine yourself, examine your life and see that you are doing the wrong thing. You know, Peter, sometimes I wonder how your wife managed to live with you under the same roof. Ephraim, sometimes I wonder why you wonder why and how my, me and my wife are living in our house. And am I marrying your wife? Have I ever come to your house to know how you are living with your wife? Are you having something with my wife? It is wrong. I only ask you a question, don't take it. Stop asking me how I live with my wife. Use that time to open your shop and be more productive and stop thinking of how I'm living with my wife. It is not your business. Be productive, be productive. Man, the way gets love. Man, the way gets sensual. Man, the way gets a better plan for the people. Now, who be that to? Man, the way love of God. Oh, oh, oh. Man, the way bring joy. Oh. Man, the way came much for the people. I say, now who be that to? Because the man go collect you with love. Oh. He go treat you with kindness. See the movie. Have you forgotten what I told you about seeing a movie? Because anytime you want to see a movie, all the appliances in this sitting room will be on. The AC will be on, the fan, all the lights, everything, and you will be consuming excess energy. It is better to watch it on your phone. I don't prefer watching movies on my phone. I prefer TV. Mm -hmm. Everybody prefers TV. Everybody. But when you think about the, how much you'll be spending, think about the economy. When you think about how much you'll be consuming for you to watch TV in this city room, you leave it and you watch it on your phone. Go outside, sit down. You'll be getting fresh air and you watch it on your phone. Please. Please, don't distract me from this interesting program I'm seeing here. Please. What is this, Seth? Okunatago. Don't stress my life. Okay, okay, just listen. Last month that you did not watch TV, the whole of last month, I, I, I think you watched TV maybe once or twice. How much did you spend? Eh? How much? Compared to this month that you have been watching TV every single day, how much have you spent? Compare and contrast, and everything I tell you, go and verify. Yes. You are spending so much money, you do not want to learn. Yes. Baby, I do not want to learn. Let it be that I do not want to learn. What is this, Seth? Eh? Someone cannot watch TV in her house in peace again? Why 
Why are you doing this? Because you want to save money. Money that is meant for spending. Let me ask you, why are you even making money when you cannot spend it? Why? You just do not want to be reasonable. You know what? I don't want to watch this movie anymore. Hmm? You can say, let me be. Okay? You see this television? Sell it off because it's here for fancy. Mm -hmm. That is it. If only, don't, don't if tell only me. you can listen to me, I have not saying say you should not watch TV. Once in a while, you can watch, but most of the time, shake it off. I'm not possible with TV. Follow me on this one, please. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Stay with me. I want to think of all these things. You put on the lights, put on this one, put on that one, more of it. You have to be reasonable. Nigeria generates 3,522.80 megawatts, and you are already consuming almost all of that energy in my house. Energy that is not for the whole of Nigeria to do to do to share, and it is not even enough. You are consuming almost all of it. Do you want the national grid to collapse? Huh? Let me even ask you: Who will pay for all these bills, all these bills that you are accumulating on power? Who will pay? Because I will not pay. I will not pay! I will not pay! Yesterday I sold a parcel of land that I had. I want to use the money to go into farming. What kind of farming? Large scale farming. Yes, mechanized agriculture. What happened to your other business? Uh, I've been doing all of them now. I'm not complaining. Babe. Yeah. But you know that farming business is demeaning to your personality. Demeaning? Yes. How? How is it demeaning? It's exactly this kind of a mentality that has kept us where we are today in this country. Yes. Because so many people who have money who should go into farming, they will say it is demeaning. Which means that every time will be uh, important things, important things, important even the things that we can produce here in our country. Yes. That is why 90% of all the things that are used in our country is important. When we can produce them here, no, it is wrong. It is abnormal, it is wrong. That is why I am going into famine. I want to turn this country from a, a consuming nation to a producing nation. Because when we produce, we will export. And when we export, we make money. Plenty. If I start it now, other people, my friends, will see it and they will copy from me. Other people will copy from them. Before you know it, Nigeria will be producing and producing and producing instead of importing everything. Okay. What is okay? Why are you asking me what is okay? I've made my point, and to you, once you analyze it to your own to your own understanding, you want everybody to understand it that way, and you want everybody to accept what you okay. have accepted. What do you want to say? Say I'm listening. What, I'm, your own. what I'm saying is that you should not go into farming. It's demeaning. Forget about agriculture. Forget about farming. Continue with other businesses you are doing.
Okay. Um, this is the list of what our kids were asked to bring to school for their <coughs> end of the year party. What they wrote. And you see nothing wrong with it? Eh? How can the cost of having a school party be more than the school fees itself? Eh? Why are they eh, focusing more on school party instead of focusing on imparting knowledge on these children? Maybe. I think it would be nice you discuss this with school management instead of what they're doing here. Of course, I will go there. I will go there immediately. Let me understand what is going on. I will go there! And I will even change their school if they do not focus on economic management. I do not understand what is going on. I will go there! Only that parents are supposed to use to take care of their families. That is what they want us to use on Christmas party. No! Economically, it is wrong! I will go there! Yes! I will go there immediately. I will go there! Call them prudence, uh, up a gun with Mama, uh, uh, as a reflection light, remember to save some money, as you save your money, remember to invest your money. You see, good things in life, they come to the world, like they're like gone. Uh, success in life, they come to those who walk and play. A gun with I call her my Kanuchi, a Pakanuchi, a Kanuchi, a Kijaka. Yeah, Mama. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Oh, Mama. They call them stingy. I call them blue dancer. They call them buying and selling. I call them trading. They say. But exporter, I call them investment. Person where no get investment, no fee to trade them. And so before you pass a judgment, make you calculate them. Money they pile up. Oh. I call them a canoche, money they pile up. Oh. You can call it stingy. I call them prudence. You can call it anything you want to. I call them a conoche. From consumption, we turn them to production. From corruption, we could change them to good governance. You say anybody for life when no one jolly. Is there anybody for life when no one could think, yeah? And so before you pass your judgment, think I'm well, well, oh. And so before you make up your mind, think I'm well, oh. Oh, we're gonna check. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check. is better than sacrifice. Oh, we're gonna check. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check. Oh, oh, oh. They're better than sacrifice. They're better than sacrifice. Oh, we're gonna check. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check. Good deeds be like trees planted by the riverside. It never dies, it always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle. Soaring so high above The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes oh, Might not please you, but cares for you 
might not be the best, but right for you. Look, and you'll find love in the stranger's place. like a badge sticking by the other side no matter how you hide it it always showing it's your reserve to scale the hills that takes you to the top no matter what you're going through is it one drama I'm fine, brother. Good to see you. I came to pay my tithe. Yeah. God bless you. Bless you too, Father. Let me just pray for you. Father, Lord, I thank you for your soul. Bless you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. How is your family? My family is fine. Everybody is okay. Uh, Father, I must commend you. You are doing a wonderful job here. Everywhere is so neat and organized. <laughs> it's because of your support now. If not for people like you, we will not do much like this. You've <laughs> donated a lot for this great parish. You have even motivated many members to start giving. Oh, I'm happy. I'm <laughs> happy I've inspired so many people to do the work of God. I'm grateful. Yeah. Yeah, that reminds me. Your wife hardly attend morning masses. I hope all is well. All is well, Father. I think it's because of her, her work. Yeah, she's always very busy in her shop, so maybe that is why. Dr. Greg, you have time to, to serve this God. Why would your wife create time to serve God? You know it's the same God that bless her. So she should make her time to serve this God. And the Lord will continue to bless her. I'll talk to her. Please do that. I will, mm. Father. Let me pray for you. Amen. Thank you, Father. God bless you. You're yeah, welcome, man. Thank, Thank you. you eh? A badge 
Shaken by the own side No matter how you hide it It always showing It's your reserve to scale the hills That takes you to the top No matter what you're going through Ezi mundu wa maka, aku inafo Nkonye neme, nkonye neme Nya pachalanya, nya pachalanya Makana umu wanafo Chukunene kwa kie Nkonye neme Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Follow my knees. I use my hands. Mm. You are becoming a nerd. Mm. I tell you, this woman is good work to do. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me not be here. I'm forget that my my car is stuck somewhere. Let me call my husband. Mm. 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 It's a local way. He's <laughs> not a king of scrubs. Who knows where he kept his phone? Here? <laughs> huh? Where he kept his phone? Or where he has gone to sell the phone? <laughs> <laughs> He has gone to the sellers and said this phone is too expensive to give me back my money. <laughs> oh he will return the phone and say that constant use of phone could cause one sickness in their brain. Oh. <laughs> you, you, you jam. You can imagine me, me that has been living in the same roof for that for years. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I can My husband can make you sometimes want to doubt your existence. I'm telling you, or start living a life of an alien because they want to save money. Even you doubt your sanity. I'm telling you. Mm. Let me ask you. Mm. All that money you save, what would you do with it? <laughs> <laughs> eh? mm. He doesn't drive expensive cars. Mm. He has one pattern of dressing. Mm. What is the essence of saving so much money when you don't even understand? I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. That is what I got. No, but I have never been a model. Nipple, I need to okay for. This one I, I've seen. But it's where? Um, the way to be. At this point, eh? Mm. Don't you think it's better if you go and meet my husband? Before it's late, my car is back somewhere. I agree with you, but you should have back channel. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Let me go now. Since you are still here, hmm? mm. watch over that. These girls, I don't trust them anymore. Please, mm. I will be back soon. I won't take time. Watch this about channel. So that you have energy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You need energy I don't want you want to and strength. <laughs> so that when the argument starts, <laughs> because you know there will be arguments. <laughs> Hey! Take your time for home. It's my husband. Hey! 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 Very soft. My husband. Please. I will finish it though. I Anyways, my car broke down along uh, Northwest Junction. I have already contacted a mechanic. 
please, need to go and meet him and sort him out. Well. You should have called to call the our mechanic. I'm sure the body will fix the car even cheaper than the roadside mechanic you called. Even the person you called, oh, you sure the person knows what to do? Well, please, don't start with these blames right now. I called Chukwudi, but he wasn't answering my call. Well, you should have called me. You should have called me. Please, please. I don't need to do this right now. I don't need it. Besides, if I had called you, you would have started with your questions. When last did I show you the, the engine oil, the, the brake pad, water and all that? That is why I, I avoided calling you. I've sent the mechanic number to your phone, so please go and sort it out with you. You always avoiding the truth. I ask you those questions because you should know how your car system runs. Every vehicle driver should do routine checks before you move in your car. That is how it is done, so it doesn't stop you on the road. Honey, I have sent the number to Vegas. It's too much for this conversation. I'm going to take care of it. Yeah, babe. I'm too soon. Yes. Wow. I told you I will avoid every argument and come to you. <laughs> That's really good though. Ah, what happened? Are you done? You finished? Got my food and yours? Oh, that. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah. So, the girls. Ah, no, it's fine. I understand. <laughs> you understand. It's very good. Ah, my dear, I wonder the kind of husband I got married to. Oh, there we go again. Has he always been like this? Yes. But he became worse lately. That man is simply but sick. Married to a sick man. My friend, how do you do this? I mean, why should you be stuck with a man who is sick? You should walk away. Mm -hmm. You should be free from this man. Leave this marriage. So Leave it and find happiness for your sanity, for your well-being. Walk away from this sick man. Sadly. I wish I can. But the truth is that it's difficult to just move away from an intelligent man like you. Yes. Yes. Well. I agree he's intelligent and you know intelligent people find it hard to cohabit with others. But then we're talking about your we're talking about you, your sanity, your happiness, your mental health. These are priorities that you must consider. Okay, my darling. You need to do the move. Man no way get love Man no way get sensual Man no way get a better plan For the people Now who be that too? It's all be Man no way love a God oh, oh, oh. Man no way bring joy oh. Man no way came much for the people I say na who be that too Ay, Man no way no they call it the people they play I say na who be that too Be Toby You go to call everybody along You know they discriminate You know they like to be late Man, a superman, no. Tested and trusted. Bitter be. Oh, yeah, shout My car broke down, but uh, I've called the mechanic. And you're still expecting him? Yes, I'm expecting him, but I said, let me keep trying to fix the car. Uh, if I succeed, it's even better. I will not give him any money again. That money I would have given to the mechanic, I'll save it. Yeah. You will save it. 
Gregory, who did this to you? Who did this to you? What are you doing to yourself? Why are you disgracing yourself, not me, everywhere? What is wrong with you? When you were in the office as the governor of this state, you had series of cars. When you were leaving the office, you gave up everything and left this Gora Gora. When you told me you sold a plot of land, I was thinking you wanted to use the money to, to buy a new car and, 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 and give up this thing. But no! You keep disgracing yourself up. What is your problem? This guy is very strong. He's very strong. Yes! This is the best of all the models that they made. This thing you are calling Gura Gura. It's not Gura Gura. It's very strong. Yeah. Anybody who sells land to buy car, that person is not thinking well. If you get that kind of money, you invest it in another business. Yes! You see this your own? This one is not strong, bro. It cannot go anywhere. This one, no! This one can go anywhere. It's still serving me very well. Wait, dog. I can see the way he's serving you. I can see he's serving you very well. <laughs> With what you're doing. You know what? Let it keep serving you very well. When you are done, I can return back. Man, no way get love. Man, no way get sensual. Man, the way gets a better plan for the people. Now, who be that too? It's all be. Man, the way love a God. Oh, oh, oh. Man, the way bring joy. Man, the way can march for the people. I say, now, who be that too? It's all be. Why is your face like that? Why are you looking so unhappy? Are you asking me? Huh? Are you asking me? I had a problem and the best my wife could do was to taunt me and abandon me there. Oh, that. What were you expecting me to do? Were you expecting me to repair the car for you? Am I a mechanic? I know you are not a mechanic, but at least that is your husband. He helped me to leave that place, but no! You left there and you went away. Gregory, I have warned you times without number. Pack this car, pack this gora gora, but you refuse. What are you still doing with it? You're suffering yourself. Now you want to put it on me. The car is good. It's very good. It's one of the strongest cars they made. Yes, it's very strong. It's serving me. The car is very strong. Yes. And it's serving you. Then deal with it. Leave me out of it. Man, the way gets love. Man, the way gets sensual. Man, the way gets a better plan for the people. Now, who be that too? It's all me. Man, the way love of God. Uh, good. Uh, your wife told me how you almost allowed your child die because you took her to a government hospital. Gregory, who doesn't even know how useless government hospitals are in this country, you risked your child's life by taking her there. It's not right. Donatus, are you blaming me for visiting a hospital that is supposed to be funded by our government? Eh? Did I do something wrong? Do we not have a health minister? Eh? Does it mean that all the money that is allocated to the health sector just goes down the drain? They use it for nothing. Is that what it means? If you travel abroad and you have health issues, they will treat you. Most that's free of charge. Here we are meant to pay for everything. So after paying for everything, we should demand some good services. Yes. The government takes taxes from us and we pay. We pay. So does it mean they don't use those taxes to do what they are supposed to do? This is broad daylight robbery. It is scam. 
Tom, yes! And I say no! Yes. It's no longer news that this country doesn't have functional medical healthcare system here. Yes. Even the president himself knows about it. That is why he always travels abroad whenever he wants to go for medical checkup, time to time. Is it right? Is it the right thing to do? Eh? Such a thing is happening because people are not speaking out. It's time for us to stand up and tell this government what they are doing that is wrong. We have to protest so we can have a future for our children. If not, Nigeria is dying completely. Very soon, Nigeria will be gone. We will not have a country. Yes. Mm. Anyways, you're right. You're saying the truth. But you shouldn't be playing with your child's life. It's not good. And uh, I've been hearing lots of quarrels and arguments between you and your wife. It's not healthy for your marriage. I mean, watch it. Huh? I hear I've spoken as a concerned neighbor. Concerned neighbor should be concerned about the situation of this country. A concerned neighbor should be concerned about the, the, the healthcare system of this country that is going down completely. Not to be worried about how I'm living with my wife. Have I come to your house to, to tell you how to live with your wife? Have I? Did I do wrong? Stop what you are doing wrong. You are doing wrong. Do not to stop worrying about me and my wife. I Worry did, about I our did. country that is going down. I did no wrong. Huh? I'm still your brother. As your neighbor, I am still your brother. Baby, the money you gave me to get clothes for our children is not enough. Mm. Yes, it can only buy a car. And what is wrong with our Kirika? Wait, don't tell me you want our kids to, to be dressed in our Kirika this Christmas. Unless you can tell me the difference between our Kirika and already made clothes. Because in my eyes, clothes are clothes. For goodness sake, those clothes have already been worn by people. Ah. Yes. But the clothes in your boutique have also been worn by people. Those clothes in my boutique are stocks. You can't compare them with Okada. Stock or no stock, you imported them. As long as you cannot uh, uh, be sure of the process. Those clothes pass through before getting here. It is possible that those clothes have also been worn by people. Please, I don't understand. I don't want your job at this moment. Please, complete the money 100,000. Only can get the clothes for our kids. Eh? 100,000 naira? Yes, 100,000 naira. So if I give you 100,000 naira, you will waste the money on clothes? Eh? Is it that the hardship in this country is not affecting you? Is it that what we are going through in this country is not affecting you? How then do we save for any days? How do we save for our children if we keep wasting money on clothes and frivolities? How do we save? You should provide for the kids. And who says a woman cannot also provide for her children? I said so. Well, I'm saying otherwise. Honey, it is not so. Honey, please, I need that thing. Let me go and get it to you. Mama, papa, no. Everybody for you. The man when we they pray for you don't come. Make we hold up. My lateness to work, sir. I'm sorry, it will not happen again, sir. Please, sir. That is the same excuse you have been given. Same excuse you are given now. You've been given the same excuse for the past so many days. Same excuse you've been given since I employed you here. What time did I give to you? Sir, I'm sorry, 
Please, I say eight o'clock. What is the time now? So, so, so it's nine o'clock. Please, I'm sorry. It's nine o'clock. You do not have a wristwatch on you. It is past ten o'clock. You're more than two hours late. Please, I'm sorry, sir. Please, I'm very sorry, sir. I promise you. No, you have lost over two hours of work at the end of the month. You want me to pay you full salary? No, it is wrong. This is exactly what happens in the civil service. Yes. Government workers, they, they, they come whenever they like and they want to get paid full salary at the end of the month. Who are you deceiving? It is wrong. Yes, you cannot be complaining that Nigeria is bad. You want a good Nigeria, yet you cannot do things well. You don't wait till you join government. No, anywhere you are working, you start from there and do the right thing. That is how Nigeria will be good. It starts with you and I. That is how we will transform the country and the country will be good for you. I say go. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Please, sir. I promise you to not happen again. Henceforth, I promise, eh? This will be the last time I'll report to this office later. Please, I'm very sorry. I will take this job seriously. I will take it seriously the way I take my life with it, sir. Please, sir. I will make change person. Please forgive me, sir. Please, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Please. If I don't want to pay you your money, but only give us. It's because you do not like to pay people. You are not going people in this your shop. That is your reason. Give me my money. I need it. Please, Peter Biko, just give me a little more chance. Eh? Give me more time. Let me let me run around and gather the money and pay you. I know that you are aware that if it was a bank you collected this money from, you would not let it get to five months without paying them because the interest would be too much. You would have paid them. So tell me. That is why I'm begging you. Exercise more patience for me, please, okay? Biko, I'm your friend. What the wrong room, Biko? What is the problem? That's, a, that's exactly the problem. We keep complaining about the bad government, bad government. And I know that somebody like you is hoping to get in there. If you get in there, is this what you are going to be doing there? Is this what you'll be doing there? You'll be going, you take money, you will not pay. Is it good? Um, good day. Leave the country and its economy alone. This country I won't go, the country is dead. So leave it to rotten. I cannot leave the country. It is my country. I don't have any other country. It is also your country. You don't have any other country. So we are supposed to hold it well and make sure that the country works. Yes, we cannot allow the country to die. Me and other people who, who, who also love this country, we will keep pushing. Yes, when I was coming of my state, I worked so hard to make sure I salvage my state and I did it. So some other person, other people should be doing their own and you too, you'll be doing your own by paying people when you are owing them. So pay me. I will pay you. I already said I will pay you. Okay, just give me two weeks from now. Exactly two weeks from now, you will get your money. Let two weeks be two weeks. You hear me? Let two weeks be two weeks. If it crosses that, I will not be happy. You will be owing me for too long. Two weeks be two weeks, Ephraim. Okay, two weeks, I promise. Thank you so much, my good friend. You know, I'm, I'm proud to be your friend. He be so mad. <laughs> Let two weeks be two weeks. You will not like me after two weeks. Go and verify it. Things are so expensive in the market. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I couldn't even buy everything I needed because it was way above my budget. Well, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. Honey, hey, some people are so wicked in this country. Wicked and heartless. A vegetable seller increasing her price and telling me that it's because of dollar rate. What has dollar got to do with vegetable? <laughs> well, that is the ripple effect. 
effect of improvement in the economy. Because the butcher takes the money he made from the sales of his meat to go and buy milk. If he gets there and discovers that he can no longer afford the milk because of the rising cost of importing the milk, he will go back home and increase the price of his meat. And in turn, it will affect everything. Yes. Of course. A country with a failed or inflated economy will always experience things like this. Always. That's too much. I pray that God will give us a leader that will transform the economy of this country. If not, <laughs> I pray so too. Huh? I pray so too because if it doesn't happen very soon, we are all finished. Oh! But I still believe that God is on our side. I'm stingy. I call him prudence. I walk on a chair. As he reflects on life, remember to save some money. As you save your money, remember to invest some money. You see, good things in life, they come to those who plan their life for. Success in life, they come to those who walk and pray. I gonna cheer, I call them, I gonna cheer. I walk on a cheer, I gonna check it, I gonna. Yo, oh, mama, oh, oh. Obedience is better than sacrificing. Oh, oh, oh mama, character better than money. They call them stingy, I call them prudence. They call them buying and selling. I call them trading. They say import exporter. I call them investment. Person where no get investment, no fit to trade them. And so before you pass a judgment, make you calculate them. Money they buy up. I call them a canoche. Money they buy up. I work on the you can call it stingy. I call them prudence. You can call it anything you want to. I call them a conoche. From consumption, we turn them to production. From corruption, we go change them to. Governance, he said. Anybody for life when no one jolly. He said, Anybody for life when no one could sing. Yeah. And so, before you pass your judgment, to think I'm well, well. Oh. And so, before you make up your mind, think I'm well. I work on a chair. I can't check on each other. I work on a chair. I can't check on each other. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you touching my face? Why? You dashed too many people money already this month. That's my siblings and my friends. If you keep giving them money like this, will you still have money to do your business? Yes, I will. Please, don't do this again. I don't like it. How do you know you still have money to do your business? How will you know? Have you done proper trading uh, profit and loss account? Have you done misappropriation account? You've started it. You have all. I don't like it. Oh, stop this. No, this is me trying to correct you as your husband. How can you say you are doing business when you've not done the traditional profit and loss account? How will you know if you are gaining or losing? I sell. Take recordings of what I sold. As soon as I see big money in my drawer, I order for new goods. That is called restocking. So what are you talking about? My dear wife, you need to do proper inventory of your business. If you do, you will find out that you already shop up the amount of goods you started with. Yes, you need to check your business to be sure you are not going there every day to waste your time. Gregory, if you always go to your business place to waste your time, I don't. 
please. Okay, you that is always buying newspaper to read. What happened to your phone? Why can't you download it from your phone and read from your phone? Why are you wasting the money? Oh, because data is expensive. Data is very expensive. It costs approximately 5 kobo per kilobyte. Yes, 5 kobo per kilobyte. So if I need to download the information from any website, it will not only cost me kilobytes, it will cost me megabytes because it will be heavy. So at the end of the day, if you check it, you see that I'll be spending too much money on data more than it costs to buy newspaper. Ready, so no! Ready, may God have mercy on you. Amen. Amen. But I have to tell you the truth. You are my wife. You are giving up money too much. This is not how to do business. my business and I have every right to eat whatever I want to eat for sure. to say hello to me, right? You have done that already. Can you now leave? Leave me alone. Leave me to eat food in peace. Focus on your perfect life. What is this now? Eh? Are you chasing me away? Yes, I'm chasing you away. Yes, leave. Man. Leave. Yes, I forgot to buy it. I won't be late, okay? I know that. What is it you want to say to me? Go ahead and say it. Nothing. You can go to wherever you want to go to. Honey, just say it already. You know, sometimes I enjoy your honesty in a weird kind of way. No? Say it. Uh. Mm. Are you sure you want my honest opinion? Yes, say it. Because most times when I give you my opinion, it ends up making you angry. Go ahead and say it. Okay. I'm not yet. What about to drink to the market? Eh? Why can't you trek to the market? Because the market is not far from our house. Yes, you can trek to the market and you'll be exercising your legs. But no, no, you will refuse. Because you do not go to the gym. You refuse. You are now living a sedentary lifestyle. You get to your shop, sit there, doing absolutely nothing. While your sales girls will be doing all the work 
and attending to the customers. You will be adding weight. But I do go to gym. Uh, gym where you go, spend five minutes and you go with an ice cream and burger. And that is it. You will be adding more weight instead of losing. It is better you use this opportunity to trek so that you can exercise your body and be losing weight. Fine. I will trek. Mm -hmm. But you can't just make a point with that drama, plenty talks and all that. Please let me go. I can okay. trek. I, I was on my own, or you asked for my own opinion. Why? I see that, okay? Can I tell you something before you go? Go ahead. Anything I tell you, go and verify. I know. <laughs> I will. I love you, right? I love you, baby. Uh, 52.3 million. Lots of money from my boutique business, so I have to enjoy myself, make money, shock money. <laughs> you go drinking alcohol very early in the morning, enjoyment. Honestly, I was on the phone with my friend, hmm? so please have a nice day. Babe, <laughs> you know my husband now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Hi. Peter, mom, you're welcome. Thank you, mom. Mm -hmm. No, mom. Thank you. You're welcome Thank again. You, uh -huh. you. How? There's never a month you don't visit this your age mother in law. I've been in the point of beauty to visit you at least once every month. Chai. And I will never stop, mama. Mm -mm. Never. What of my daughter? That one, she doesn't visit at all. Hey, hmm? Mama, she's fine. She's always very busy with her business. Uh -huh. yes. But you do business as well. Yet you make her time to come visit me. You see, none of my children make her time to visit me as you do. I pray they learn this act of kindness and responsibility from you and do the right thing. Yeah, we they will, Mama, they will. How? Oh. So, oh, oh, what about my grandchildren? They are fine. Everybody is fine. Mama, I bought you some goodies. They are in the car. Eh? Yes. You see, there's never a time you come visit him without buying me things. You always do. Chai, and God will bless you. Amen. God will bless Amen. you. Amen. You're going out and coming in shall be blessed. Huh? You shall be a leader. I I I I ask for more wisdom because I know that you already have wisdom. Amen. God will continue to give you more wisdom. Amen. Anything you lay your hands on shall be fruitful. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank You're welcome. You. Uh, uh, let me get you, even if it's water to drink. Eh? <laughs> let me get you water to drink. You always bother yourself uh, so much. Uh, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Remember to save some money as you save your money. Remember to invest some money. You see, good things in life they come to those who plan their life for. Hey, success in life they come to those who work and play. I'm gonna share. I forgot to tell you. What? I wish that mama to go. You and this my mother. 
I don't know if you want to take my mother from me. Because this year frequent visiting is becoming something else. <laughs> my dear, I do not have a thought so. I will always visit my mother at least once a day month. Because she always prays for me. And I do not take it her prayers. In fact, anytime I become confused, I do not know what I'm doing again. I go to see your mother. She will bless me and then everything will be okay again. <laughs> Okay, you know what? You can as well go and leave with my mother. Hmm? Take over. What a correction, She is not just your mother, she is also my mother. Yes! In fact, right now, she is more of my mother than she is your mother. <laughs> your mother now sees me as her own biological son. Oh, yes! If you doubt me, Go Ah, madame, sir. In this house, someone cannot enjoy music in peace in this house again. How oh, will you enjoy music when it is as loud as this? Eh? I'm helping you so you can have peace, so your brain can settle and you can think of other things. Is it not better this way? Now you can hear me and I can hear you. I've heard. King John. Welcome back. Somebody cannot stay in this house in peace, enjoy music in peace. Everything is problem. You are dancing is problem. You are... I don't just get it. Uh -huh. Who owns the car outside? My car. Your car? Yes. You bought a new car? Yes, I bought a new car. Why? I don't, I don't just understand it. Okay. Fine. I worked so hard in my boutique business this year. So I decided to reward myself with a new car. Are you okay with that? <laughs> See, I do not know what you need a new car for. Yes, you do not need a new car when your old car is still functioning very well. It is doing very well. What are you wasting money for a new car for? So many Nigerians are out there buying things that they do not need just to impress people that they do not even know. Yes! You ask them to be saying it. Pepe them, pepe them for what? Who are you peppering? Who are you peppering? You do not need this uh, new car. Gregory, Why? Gregory, 
I can't remember taking money from you to buy this scarf myself. It's my money. Let me enjoy it. No, that is where I do not agree with you. Indirectly, you took the money from me. Yes, because you got the money and as a result of the business that I opened for you, proceeds from there, you used the money to buy a car. And I'm telling you, you do not need that car. Yes, you are wasting money. If I had that money, I would open at least two shops. Two shops, two boutiques, employ people, employ Nigerians and help the government to improve the economy. Yes, I am your husband and will tell you the truth, you are wasting money. I've already bought the car, so deal with it. Give me the key. Which key? Which key? Yes, the car I bought for myself. I use my money. Then use the money to open the shop and employ people and help the government to build the economy. Man, the way gets a better plan for the people. Now, who be that too? It's all be. Man, the way love a God. Oh, oh, oh. Man, the way bring joy. Man, the way keep marching for the people. I say. Mm -hmm. Let me go and see if I can get um, one or two things from the market before I get some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? Your list is too much. But you know the kids enjoy uh, movies a lot. I know, but what is it? It's too much. It's too much. The noodles contain sodium and sodium, too much of it, it slows down digestion. It also contains all the artificial elements that are not good for the body. Reduce the, the noodles and buy more milk. It's okay. I'll add the milk. Uh, it's a milk, right? I'm vegetarian as well. No problem. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to you for some time now. You have not told me what I did wrong to my wife. You've not said anything. See, um, let me put it straight to you. I don't like what you did to your wife. You must understand that she's your wife. She's not your child or your political associates. You don't think or expect that both of you will think alike. Are you saying I do not have the right to correct my wife when she does something wrong? Is that what you are saying? That's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? Of course you have the right to correct her. But when she spoke with me, I noticed that she was having so much pain from the way you behave. I, I, you really need to understand. So I should just leave her to, 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 to be wasting money? I should leave her to, to keep living an extravagant lifestyle as if she married the richest man in Africa? Is that it? Come, Greg, you are rich. Are you not rich? You are arguably one of the richest men in this country. So let her leave it up. You leave it up a bit. Why, why, why are you doing this? Huh? Well, take a look at your shoes. Huh? What kind of shoes are these? And how does it concern you? Huh? How does it concern you? Is it your shoe? Am I wearing your shoe? Huh? See, <laughs> I didn't come for this meeting so that you'll be discussing my shoe. No, it is wrong. It is my shoe. Leave it for me. <sighs> Jokes apart. You're my brother. Get new shoes. Do us a favor and get new shoes. Hey, no, until I leave it, I'm not complaining. Did I tell you to give me your shoe? Is it your leg I'm using to wear the shoe? Leave my shoe. It is serving me. No matter what you tell me, no matter what my wife says, I will not change my lifestyle. I will always say the truth. I'm a very honest man. When I say the truth, I will say it. That is how our country will change for the better. Brother, this is not about the country. This is about saving your marriage. Not about the country. Please. 
tone down on this your this your sanctimonious lifestyle tone down on this your spend strict lifestyle please tone down on it what? it's nothing sanctimonious there i'm only being logical i'm very logical with the things i say the things i do yes that is the truth and it, it is called common sense good reasoning i cannot be wasting money on all things that don't make sense no i'm very economical that is me anybody who doesn't like me do that but i cannot change who i am I call them investment. Person where no get investment, no fit to trade them. And so before you pass your judgment, make you calculate them. Money they pile up. Oh. I call them a conoche. Money they pile up. Oh. I work on a chair. I don't think he's a nice man. He came here and gave me just five thousand naira. Knowing fully well what I'm passing through. <coughs> Which means you were actually expecting more money from me. Uh, uh, yes, of course, sir. Uh, 5,000 naira from a working class man like him. I, I think he's just being stingy, sir. You're a very stupid boy. Yes, Did you hear him shut up and flip again? You're a very stupid boy. Did you give your uncle any money to give for you? I, I am know. still talking. Did you give your uncle any money to give for you? No, sir. That simply means you're a very stupid boy because it's not owing you anything. I'm aware that your uncle is a, he works with the health ministry, right? Yes, sir. And he's a level 8 officer there, which means he'll be earning about 90,000 naira per month. That is his salary. If your uncle works for 20 days, divide it 90 divided by 20, what will you get? 4,500 naira. 4,500 naira, that means 4,500 naira is his salary per day. Which means that your uncle got up in the morning, had his bath, dressed up, went to work, worked for one full day just to give that money to you. He even had it by that neither, and you are not grateful. He simply means you are a very stupid boy. Yes! Did you give him money to give for you? No, sir. It is wrong! When people give you money, no matter how small, you appreciate them because they are not owing you. That is how it should be. Have you learned it? Yes, sir. Yes! Now that you have learned it, you teach other people. When people help you, you appreciate them no matter how small. Money is very difficult to come by in this world today. Did you hear that? Yes, I'm, I'm very sorry for being You on should this. be very sorry and you shut up. Let me finish so you can learn. Shut up. Okay, sir. Gratitude begets generosity, just as love begets love. So when people help you, you thank them no matter how small. Did you learn it? You are correct, sir. Yes, oh, sir. Now that you've learned it, you will teach other people. Next time, when you see your uncle, what will you say to him? You tell him thank you, sir. And you tell him that he's a very good man. Yes, sir. And a nice man. Yes, and you will pray for him. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Well, well, let me talk to you. Okay, sir. Planted by the riverside. It never dies. It always blows up. Happy birthday to you. A good man is like the Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Give it me to <laughs> Happy birthday, the love of my life. You follow my beautiful children. Happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday, dad. I love you so much, dad. I love you too, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know you forgot that today is my birthday. Okay, my love. 
split the spirit of your heart today. Can we just go downstairs? And you see what we have for you. Let's go. It's your day. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So I invited a few friends and they will be joining us soon to celebrate you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. I love you so much. I love you too, my boy. I love you too. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you too. Much. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hmm. Well, this is, this is too much for me. It's hmm. too much. Nothing is too much for you, my darling. <laughs> Thank you. I like it, but uh, I would like to celebrate my birthday somewhere else. Away from the house? Yes. yes. Okay, it's your day, but hey, I have so many invited guests. What do I do? Here is the location. Oh, the day is my day. It's my birthday. I have the right to choose where I want to celebrate my birthday. That is true. So, I will have to send them messages to let them know the the new location. Uh, uh, sending messages will be good, but just tell them that the party has been postponed to another day. I'll give them a day, sir. Eh? Ah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's still your day, but before we move to wherever you want to celebrate your birthday. Join me outside because I have a bigger surprise for you. Come on, come here. Oh, <laughs> Yes. From me to my lovely husband. Happy birthday to you, darling. <laughs> you bought a car for me? Yes. Your birthday gift. You like it? <laughs> That's the key. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Let us talk inside. Let's discuss inside. Honey. Is below your expectation or what? Get me another car, it's a waste! Yes, there are other things you can do with money, better things! Get me another car, it's a waste! Cars are not investment, cars are liabilities! Please don't start, Greg. What is wrong with you? Eh? What kind of human being are you? Is it a thank you I should get for getting something nice for my husband on his birthday? I appreciate the fact that you got me something, even the thought is good! But what I'm saying is that there are better things you can do with money. Eh? I think we're getting me another car is a waste. There are other things, better things you can do with money. I don't need another car. My old car is still serving me. It's serving me it's strong. You can use that money and get into a business venture. You start the business, you employ more people, you help the workforce of the economy. You know what? You are such an ungrateful human being. 
In my entire life, I have never seen a man so difficult like you. You're such a horrible man. Excuse me. Man, no way gets lover. Man, no way gets sensual. Man, no way gets a better planner for the people. Now, who be that too? It's all be. Man, no way love a god. Oh, oh, oh. Man, no way bring joy. Man, no way get my. Babe, where are we? It's an orphanage. Let's go. I don't understand. What are we doing in an orphanage? This is where I want to celebrate my birthday in a motherless baby's home. Babe? Yes. I want to celebrate with the less privileged, the people who do not have. What is the best birthday gift you can give to me? It's more better than a car. Let's go. Man the way gets lover. Man the way gets sensual. You're the one my wife bought those drinks from, right? Yes, sir. I do not be offended when they did not consume the drinks. So I came to return them and get a refund. I hope that is possible. Uh, yes. Um, but I'm sorry, I won't be able to make a hundred percent refund. Uh, it's okay. I, I know you want to take uh, something from the money. It's okay, but do not take too much. It will be stealing. Uh, uh, the, the drinks are over there. We bought them already. Okay, okay. a minute. Yeah, my, my lord, you see, this is how to do it. If you don't need something, there's no point buying it. So you don't waste money. I'm a very economical person. I, I, I think. And you should thank God for the kind of husband that he gave to you. Yes, the drinks are not even good for your system. They affect the kidney. And a good husband will always consider the wife's kidney before buying drinks. I did not buy those drinks for myself. I bought it for this person for your birthday. Uh, we don't need them. That's why I returned them to get the money. You have a very good husband here. Yeah? Can you tell me you love me before we go? <laughs> Hi, Sabine. Mm. This is not a laughing matter. <laughs> it is not. <clears throat> First, he rejected the car I bought for him. Then, he took the food I made for the event to the other. The drink I bought for the event, he sold them. Who does that? Tell me. Since I was born, but now I am getting old. I have never seen a man like Gregory. Did I not tell you? I told you that buying him a car gift was a bad idea. But what did you say? I want to surprise my husband. <laughs> what did you get? He ended up surprising. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. It's not. Hey, look at your man. Is this a big spot? Where did you meet him? Mom, I'm confused. It seems like. I know your husband more than you do. I know his type. They never appreciate anything good. Nothing. There's nothing you do that you know, fix them. No matter how much effort you put together, they will discredit it and make it look like it's nothing. So I know him. But do you know at this point? I don't, I don't even know if I should end my marriage with Gregory. Because he's becoming so annoying. I bet he's got. Well, for the sake of the kids, I don't support. I don't. But can't you see he's driving me crazy? Can't you see that? That man is not normal. Oh, he's not. But you married him. And you've been stuck with him for years. Every night, Guinea, Manako. I'm so sorry, okay, but really, on a serious note, I think what you can do is just um do what makes you happy. Do whatever that gives you peace. Okay? Ignore him. Just let him be. 
don't um, pay attention to what he says or does for your own you know sanity <laughs> Just look at the road. Huh? Look at the road. Anytime I come to the village and I go back to the city, I have to walk on my car because the road would have damaged the pieces in my car. Brother, you're not lying. This road is an eyesore. And can you imagine Senator Godwin, Senator representing us, has declared intention to run again? What is he going to do there? Huh? What is he going to do there? He has done two tenures and he wasted the whole, wasted his time there embezzling our money. Huh? He uses this road, he uses uh, this, this particular road, doesn't he see it? He will not fix the road. This is wrong. It is wrong. <laughs> Brother, he doesn't use these roads. Whenever he's coming in, he's either flying in his helicopter after being dropped with a private jet at the oh, airport. No, 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 no. Wasting our money, flying up and down. Wasting our money, wasting government money, flying up and down. What is wrong with these people? Eh? When I was governor of our state, I fixed all the roads and our people were enjoying these roads. Just look at eh? I don't know what is wrong with them. If you walk on the road, will you be spending so much money flying? It is common sense. Common sense is not common to these people. Moreover, you are aware that his family is not in Nigeria. None of his family members is in Nigeria. He moved all of them abroad. See it? See it? You know how much it costs to, to, to send one person abroad? Not to talk of your whole family and be taking care of them. We don't make money. This is wrong. It is wrong. These are the things that I keep talking about. Eh? These people are damaging this country. Our dear country is going down the drain every day. We need to stand up. You and I, we need to stand up and say no. And say enough is enough. In this coming election, we vote people that will come in and change the country. Change the country, you say? Yes. <laughs> who? Who are the people going to change the country? You and I. Brother Gregory. Um, there is something I've been meaning to ask you. Why don't you run for presidency? I think you should. Because you have... Uh, you have a better knowledge on how to change this country. You have ideas that are, that are unique. And your pedigree is it, it, high. Why don't you run for presidency? I can mobilize people and I know people would like to vote for you concerning, you know, thinking of your antecedent as governor. You are arguably the best governor we had, so I, I don't think there will be any problem. Think about it. Run for presidency, brother. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mama. Mama, I have to be on my way. I'll see you again next month. Oh. Don't worry yourself, my son. If you can't find time to come, hmm? don't worry. Oh. I won't be angry. Oh, Mama, I will always find time. Yes, I promise you, I will always find time. It gladdens my heart anytime I come to see you. And anything I do for you, Mama, it is from deep down my heart. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's Mama. Okay. I, I heard you celebrated your birthday. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I did. Don't worry, Mama. My next birthday, next year, I will take you to the city so you celebrate with me. Eh? Yes. That would be very nice. Chai, I can't wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I have a gift for you. My son. This is my birthday gift for you. I know you have one, but I want you to add this to the one you have. Always recite it each time you seem lost. Hmm? Our mother Mary will intercede for you, and God will bless you more and more 
I redirect you where you belong. Oh, no. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> I like the color. I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Oh, one. It's your man, no? Be like trees planted by the riverside. It never dies. It always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle, soaring so high above. Hi, honey. Where is the car? What happened to you? Uh, I'm just coming from the village where I went to see my brother and we discussed extensively on a particular business and uh, that discussion was... That is not the answer to my question. What happened to the car I bought for you as a gift? Well, if only you be patient, I was still uh, getting to the answer to your question. Yes, I told you I do not need the car. I returned the key to you, but you wouldn't listen. You gave me back the key. Because I found it insulting that I gave to my husband and he, he returned it back to me. So I sold the car because I did not need it. You did what? Yes. I remember telling you, I do not need this car. I made it very clear, but you said no, that I must have the car. So I sold it because I remember that I have a business I want to venture into. I sold the car, used the money, and started a new business in the village. What kind of man is this? A man who loves his wife and values money so much that he will never waste money or abuse it. Yes! That is the kind of person I am. What do I need a new car for? My old car is there. It is working very well. It takes me to where I want to go to and back. What am I doing with a new car? Nothing. So I sold it. And the process I, I used to start a new business. When that business starts running, I will employ people and help the government with the workforce of the country. Yes! Mm -hmm. You see this action of yours? You will regret it. No, Please. no! Please. There is nothing to regret there. No there is nothing to regret. I already sold the car. And I used the money to start the business. I got it to the bed there. You don't forget me now. Your girl back then in uni. Stupid though. Baby, you know it's not possible for me to forget you. You forget I, me. I, I, I never forget you. I forgot you. you. She forgot you. You see, I forgot me, bro. You were you happening then. <laughs> you see, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm fine. You're looking good. Hey, now welcome. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, you get, get me a seat for... No, 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 don't worry, I'm fine. This is my home, I'm comfortable, I'm okay like this. Mm -hmm. So, don't stress yourself. <laughs> my God! <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> hey! There is uh, this new restaurant in town I was telling Sabina about. I would love to go there. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to be there. Everybody wants to be there at the same time. I don't even understand the rush. The uh -huh. no. No. I know you. You mm. like classy things. <laughs> you will like it when you see it. Can uh -huh. you say that again? I know you. You know I like enjoying myself. Ah, I like you! It. You love food. enjoyment. Food, food. <laughs> classy. <laughs> you <laughs> <understand>. <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? So let's start going. Time waits for nobody. Uh -huh. Maybe they don't finish the food for me. Oh, suppose we're not going to live in the middle of the night. Let's start. Let's start. Hey, 
So if I'm not telling you before, we can just back to you, okay? Yes, I know the money is not complete, but it's there with me. But business is not going to ask you. Yes. Yes, I know. You don't be patient with me. You know it has never happened before. I think it's the first time. No, I promise to agree, but I promise to, to, to complete the money. This week or all public, I must agree with you. Business is bad. Okay? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Send it to Fatality. What? You don't drink wine in your shop. They were talking by my customers, and I still have in the fridge. Do you care for one? You give your customers wine in your shop. Yes. It's a way of maintaining my customer relationship with them and it ties them to buy more. I'm sure none of them is less than 5,000 naira. 4,500 naira. Oh, oh, it is wrong. How can you spend 4,500 naira to entertain your customer? How much will you then make from selling to the person? It is wrong. I don't count all that in maintaining my customer. You account. should count it. You should count it. My wife, you can't spend that kind of money in doing business. It is wrong. You will run down your business. No. If you want to give them drink, they are cheaper drinks, smaller ones. Eh, more to eh, I mean, that you give them better still. You don't give them anything. The person will buy and the person will go. Greg, are you here to lecture me on how to run my business? I will lecture you because you are my wife. It is wrong. You should be considering the economy of this country. How are you helping the government? It is wrong. No. You can't be giving wine to anybody who walks into your shop very soon. People who know that once they walk in here, they drink wine. They drink wine, they will not buy anything. They go. How will you help the economy of the country? It is wrong. Please do it. Go ahead. I'll be asking of you anytime your husband comes to the church without you. I don't know why you don't like attending morning masses. Sorry, Father. It's not as if I don't like attending morning masses. Just that I've been so busy with my business. If God is giving the same excuses, anytime we ask Him for something, I'm sure that I and you will not be alive till now. But we are alive by His grace and His mercy that we don't even deserve. Yet He grants all our requests all the time. Bless our businesses. All God is asking for is just for us to sacrifice an hour or two to worship Him. That is all He needs from us. My dear, make it a habit to attend church. Okay, Father. Thank you very much, Father. No, 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 no. I should be the one thanking you on behalf of your husband for the goodness you and him have shared among members of this great parish. I'm very grateful. And I pray the good Lord will reward you accordingly. Amen, Father. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord be with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Honey, did you report me to Father Noma, the parish priest? Report me why? He called me after Mass and was preaching to me. 
concerning my absence in church. How does that concern me? I was wondering uh, how he noticed that I have not been coming to church. If you told him anything, because I was a bit embarrassed. Uh, if you don't want him to speak to you again about it, then start going to church. Yes, we are sending mass. Uh, our parishioners are even too few for him not to notice that you, you, uh, you don't come to church. I know you don't have a problem with God, so we are sending mass, that's all. Today is Saturday, it should be at the gym. I don't have strength. Uh, follow me, let's go and jog. You know, jogging is a very good form of exercise to help you. I said I don't have strength for jogging. You know you had a lot of carbohydrates this week. You should go to the gym to exercise and you know remove some fat from your body. It's good. I don't want to go to gym. I don't want to exercise. Okay. At least uh, drink plenty of water and avoid uh, carbonated drinks and beverages. I love you, sir. Creepy can be stop. So annoying. Coming session. Same with me, Dad. And we want to go to a good school. Dad, we want to go to the best school. Hmm. But, uh, children, I have heard you. Hmm? But you must know that the school you are attending is of no value, very little value or significance if you are not willing and ready to learn. So you must make me proud. Hmm? I promise you that. On my honor, I will make you proud. And I will never disappoint you, Dad. <laughs> Honestly, I have never seen a man like that. Are you telling me? You don't need to keep announcing it. Peter B is an entirely different man. See, I just wish, let me, I would just wish that he will accept to run for the office of the president of this country. It's as if you read my mind. But we have a problem. What's the problem? Because if you present this to Peter, mm. you only have one response to you. Which is? That he's not interested. No. Listen, if, if he says no, we will say no too. Do you know why? why? Because this country is on the verge of collapse. And we need a pilot. We need somebody that can handle the affairs of the country. Otherwise, the country will do like this. By the time you know it, we won't have any other country. So we need somebody that has the capacity and the ability to bring back Nigeria. You see, you are right. You are right. Yes. But the problem is that you will not accept it. You know him too well. Let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you, friend. If he says no, like I said earlier, we will say no. <laughs> do you understand me? You know why I'm saying that? Because... My uncle, as we speak, is the chairman of one of these political parties. Really? Yes, and he would like somebody like Peter Obi because he loves people that has character. Peter has that character. If I get both of them introduced, he may even allow Peter to become the presidential flag bearer of the party on a platter. So that's why I want Peter to accept first before I get him introduced to the man. Do you know? That's good. Yes. That's good. I pray, I pray he accepts. Please. Because men like that are rare in our society. As a matter of fact, yeah. he has the blueprint on how to run the affairs 
of this country. So we will not stop begging him. We have to keep pushing until he accepts. Pick your call. Pick your call. About our children, bring new school. Did you make the inquiry? Oh. Yes, I did. Sorry, I didn't tell you yesterday. I was busy. I went to the school. I think the school is the best of this time. They're nice. The teachers are doing well. Modern facilities. I think they're the best in this town. Mama, they're too jumpy. I was even thinking it would be very high. Well, cheaper than I thought. Mm -hmm. It's just 500k. Ah! Yes, 500,000 naira. Yes, 500,000 naira. But You mean 250,000, 250,000? If you join me, 500,000? No, one person, 500,000. We still have other things to pay. 500,000 naira for one person? Yes. Which means 1 million naira for two of them. In a session, it will be 3 million naira. No, I will not pay. It is too much. Go and look for government school that our children will enter. How? You want our children to attend government school? Did you not attend government school? Did I not attend government school? I attended CKC on it. And I'm aware that up till now, CKC on it is still one of the best schools in Nigeria. Go and verify. Babe, you know that government school does not have good teachers. And they won't give our children good attention. So please, forget about government school. And then we will support them. We will support the school. We will find out what the teachers need. We will help them so they can give the children the best. Maybe my children will not attend government school. I will not pay. They will not. You will pay. I will not pay. You will pay. Okay. Uh-uh. Every time you know, are wasting money. Wasting money. This is not I, wasting money. Children will not attend government I, school. I will not pay. Man, no way get love. Man the way gets sensual Man the way gets a better plan Funny you've been unhappy the whole day What is wrong? Just leave me alone Why? You're asking me why Because you are the one Constantly making me unhappy in this house You Is it because of our discussion yesterday? What have you not done? Eh? Is that the only thing you have done? Let me ask you. How can a man in your position in this society decide to train your own blood in this government school? Who does that? Uh, I say nothing wrong there. Eh? No, I say nothing wrong with it at all. If that is your reason for being angry, then you are simply being unreasonable. Yes. How can you expect us to spend a whooping sum of 3 million naira per session on our two children for just tuition? Just tuition! It is too high! It's not too high anything. It's not too high. You have the money. Why don't you spend it? Why are you even making money if you cannot spend the money? I spend money judiciously. I do not waste money. No! I do not waste money. Huh? Yes! Wasting money on your own children. Spending that kind of money on my children is a total waste. Yes! I can even use that 3 million naira, invest it in that government school and believe me, that school will be better. The condition of that school will be better. Our children will benefit from it and other people's children too. That is what humanity is all about. You should give. That is what life should be about. Giving and be happy giving, helping other people, helping the less privileged. Yes! Even the teachers, we can bring good teachers better and you will see how well our children will do in that school. So please understand. I can't understand anything. I cannot understand anything. No problems. I think at this point I have to come up and report this to her because I don't even understand you anymore. I don't even know what is wrong with you. Man the way get sensual. Man the way get a better planner for the people. Now who be that to? It's all me. Man the way love a god. Oh, oh, oh. Man the way bring joy. Man the way get joy. Oh.
that there isn't a library in that school. That there are no computers in the computer lab. There are other students in other schools have this thing, but we don't have it. Do not worry about it. I will fix it. Eh? I will take care of it. Just concentrate on what your teachers are teaching you. So you can always make good grades and make your father proud. Planted by the river side, it never dies. It always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle, soaring so high above. Wait, did you just say government school? Seriously, like government school? My dear, if I tell you that I am not tired of this marriage, I should be lying to you. I don't know the kind of man I got married to. I don't even know what is wrong with him. He should be ashamed of himself. In fact, I feel ashamed on his behalf. That he can't send his kids to an expensive, decent school? I don't understand it. I plan on calling the mother to report to him. Enough is enough. I think the mother should know the madness that has come over his son and then call him to order or something. Please. What difference would that make? None. <laughs> Absolutely no difference. Why did, you, why did you say that? Because your husband is a stubborn and rigid man. He doesn't listen to anyone, not even his mother. Okay? Can you afford to send your kids to a good school? I mean, a very expensive, decent school? I can't! Even if I can right now, what about the future? What about years to come? I can't start what I cannot finish. That is just it. That is why I decided to enroll them into the government school like their father instructed. Just listen to yourself. If you were talking about your own kids, your own children. You have to do everything possible to make sure they don't miss out on their primary and secondary education. Even if you have to borrow, yes, or sell one of your expensive cars. But you have to do, make sure that their father's plan does not happen. What are you talking about? <laughs> Government school. Yes. Oh, please. please, please. Can you just take care of drink? Let's drink. At least you are in my house. Cheers. be like trees planted by the riverside. It never dies. Um, Mr. Gregory, I was even going to write an invitation for the school's residential party at this school. And uh, your presence will be held in the house. What is that? It's okay. It's okay. Even though if you had sent the invitation, I would have turned it down. Yes, because it does not make sense to me. At the critical time in our country, when we should be worried about the development of our children, we are wasting money on our parties. It is wrong. Yes, there are more important things you can do with that money for, for, for parties. More important things that will help the children instead of lavishing it on all the frivolities, it is wrong. For instance, the school library. Am I aware that the library in the school is not up to standard? Am I wrong? Yeah. Uh, actually, <coughs> before now, I have written to the school authority concerning this issue, but as we speak, Nothing has been done. Have you informed the parents? In a PTA meeting, you should try it happen. Let the parents be aware. I'm sure that the parents do not know you. The library in the school is not up to standard. It's not a important in a PTA meeting. You will be telling them to contribute money for what you know. Let's put that book. Let them contribute for things that will develop the children. In fact, I will not wait for anybody. I will take it upon myself. Yes, to equip that library in the school. Oh, to stop that. Really? Yes. Um, 
I am so happy. Thank you very much. In fact, today is the happiest day of my life. It's okay. God bless you. And I will not stop there. I will also buy some computers. I have plenty of them. So I can equip the computer lab in the school. Wow. That is wonderful. Thank you very much. I am very, very happy. In fact, if you can do this for me, I, if you can do this for me, I will forever appreciate you. So of course I will do it. I am a man of my word. Anything I say, you can take it to the bank. It is done. And you do not have to thank me. I am doing what I should do as a parent and as a concerned citizen of this country. I believe that every parent should do the same. We should be worried about the development of our children. Give them books to read. Keep them busy with books. Let them read. There is a saying that if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. It is a very sad saying, but it is the truth. And the only way we can change it is to stop now to equip our children. Let them develop their brains because I believe that these children are the future of this country. So we should not jump with them. So I will never ever stop in doing what I am supposed to do to help our children. So based on that, you do not have to thank me at all. I am doing my job as a parent and as a concerned citizen of the country. Anyway, I still appreciate it. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank bless you. you too. Yeah. King, I did not agree with him. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. Gregory, where were you when the issue of building a community town hall was raised? You should have been there to present this point of yours and not after the money have been raised in that regard. Why? I agree with you. you no, know, I should have been there. And I regret the fact that I was not there, but it is not too late to do the right thing. To build a school, we need schools. A school is more important than a community town hall. If we have schools, we will educate our children. Yes, when they when they are educated, they will grow up to become useful in the society. They will know the difference between good leadership and bad leadership. That way, they will not be easily convinced by politicians to carry ballot box and involve themselves in political coverage. Yes. Even in the uh, area of economy, a uh, school is better because with a school you can generate some money and help the economy. But with a community town hall, you cannot generate money. You will only be using money to service the town hall. So my king, that is my I call them prudence. I quack on your chair. As you reflect your life, remember to save some money. As you save your money, remember to invest your money. You see, good things in life, they come to those who plan their life for. Success in life will come to those who walk and pray. I'm not I call them a that is what you've been saying. You've said that over four times now. We're waiting for you. The children are in the car waiting. Hold on, hold on. You should have just allowed me to go. Mass has already started. Let me go. Then later you start coming. 
Most men go to church with their wives. My own wife is preparing slowly. That is because she is your wife. You have to get ready. So wait. Try to be romantic for once, please. I will not miss heaven because of you. No, I will not miss heaven. I'll make sure I get into heaven. I'll stay there and not be looking out for you when you're ready to enter. I'll start going. You can go. Just go without me. I will come later. I love my wife. I'll stay. Hurry up. Let me know what you want. <laughs> She came out with a call to say the morning. Hello. She came, why? This is too early and this is not the right time. I'm preparing to go to church. What? This is my birthday gift for you. I know you have one, but I want you to add this to the one you have. Always recite it each time you seem lost. Hmm? Our mother Mary will intercede for you, and God will bless you more and more and redirect you where you belong. Don't lie. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. A good life is like a badge Shaken by the owner's side No matter how you hide it It always showing the government takes taxes from us and we pay so does it mean they don't use those taxes to do what they are supposed to do this is broad daylight robbery my father told me that greatness is not bought but i have taken a very good look at our country 
country to this. And it's clear that our dear country, Nigeria, is going down the drain every day. And someone needs to step up and salvage our country. And that person must be a person of high integrity and high moral. I have decided to be that person to step up, take the mantle, and run for president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 2023. Wow! <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Yul, Yul Adochi, a Nollywood actor, Nollywood director, EZDK1, and I'm saying keep watching Rock City TV. Don't touch that guy. Yes! If you doubt me, go and verify. I will go and verify. My name is Peter Gregory. I know that data is very expensive. So if you use your money to buy data, use it wisely. One place. The only place you can get premium quality movies is on Rockselly TV. Don't touch the die. Keep watching Rockselly TV. And thanks to SZDK. Oh, great. Okay, His Excellency. Yes, I'm running for president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2023. You're already there. Yes. If you doubt me, go and verify. I will go and verify. Takes you to the top. 
No matter what you're going through I'm stingy. I call them prudence. Up what gonna change? As a reflection light, remember to save some money. As you save your money, remember to invest some money. You see, good things in life, they come to those who plan their life for. Success in life, they come to those who walk and play. I'm gonna cheer, I call them, I'm gonna cheer. I'm gonna cheer, I'm gonna check it, I'm gonna Yo, oh, mama, oh, oh. Obedience is better than sacrificing. Oh, oh, oh mama, I'm better than money. They call them stingy, I call them blue dancer. They call them buying and selling. I call them trading. They say import exporter. I call them investment. Person where no get investment, no fit to trade them. And so before you pass your judgment, make you calculate them. Money they pile up. Oh. I call them a conoche. Money they pile up. Oh. I work on a you can call it stingy. I call them prudence. You can call it anything you want to. I call them a conoche. From consumption, we turn them to production. From corruption, we go change them to. Governance. Is there anybody for life when no one jolly? Is there anybody for life when no one could sting? Yeah. And so before you pass your judgment, think I'm well, well. Oh. And so before you make up your mind, think I'm well. Oh, we're gonna check. I'm gonna check. His Excellency. Um, Okute, I know we are going to see you here since you didn't come out of the shop today. Yes, I came to my farm to see how things are going here to show everything is going well. Wow, honestly, Okute, it's a very big farm that you have here. Very big. Thank you very much. To be honest with you, I've not even started. Wow. Yes, I intend to start another farm down there. Down there? Yes, down wow. there. I want to have the biggest farm in Nigeria. Wow. Just like Roxelli Farm in Uganda. That one is very big. My own will be bigger than that one. Wow. It's a very, it's a, I can see it's a very, very lucrative business. Yes, Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Wow. Oh, the, the business mogu. As a matter of fact, I salute your wisdom. Don't flatter me. <laughs> to what do I know this message? Um, Oputen, NBC here brought a proposal, so I decided to direct him to you. Uh, Okute, I actually asked him to bring me to you. I'm so proud of you. I'm happy for whom you have become. You see, I'm, I'm also happy for being your friend, you know. So, I see you as somebody that has the wisdom, have the knowledge to bring us out from this problem that we are in. So, I see you as a good leader. Well, we can all become very good leaders in our prospective homes and businesses. Uh, that's not what I mean. You know what I mean. Nigeria is in dire need of somebody like you. Somebody that has your kind of wisdom. Somebody that has the capacity. And you have it. See, my uncle, I told him, he knows. My uncle is uh, the chairman of one of these political parties. If I get introduced to him, he may, you know, uh, bring you to the party and let you run as the uh, presidential flag bearer of the party. So that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, 
this is a golden opportunity and I know you can do it. Come mm -hmm. My mother's burial date has been fixed. The 11th of next month. Mm. That should be about uh, three weeks from now, eh? Mm -hmm. That is the much cops can stay in Marshall if you want it to be buried in Catholic Road. It's good, it's good. It's good because me, I do not even subscribe to a uh, uh, living cops in the mortuary for too long. You don't be wasting money. I'm wasting money that can be used for good things. Yes, so I I go to a meeting with my brothers and I made some lists of things that are required of us. You know, as the first daughter of my mother and the only daughter as well, a lot is required of us. So go through this and <coughs> You can call it whatever you wish. My mother cannot be buried like an aunt. Please, so don't start. She has well to do children and son in law. So if she has well to do children uh, and the world is son in law, you people will just be wasting money. Eh? No, this is wrong. This is wrong. Money that should be used for other uh, things, you'll be wasting it on burial. No. At the end of the day, you will incur debt on your head and you start running up and down. This is a total waste. No! Please, after I'm saying, do the need for It's my mother. Yes. Okay, but you have to call your brothers and tell them that I said that if they want me in that area, they have to follow my instructions. That's good. As your late mother's only son in law. Yes! I believe I have the right to advise your brothers when they are very wrong. I cannot see them doing the wrong thing and I will not speak. No! History will not be fair with me. They are about to waste so much money. I say no. That means you won't be attending my mother's house. It is very simple. If they say they will not listen to me and follow my instructions, then I will not be there. Yes, I can never subscribe to free politics. This is a total waste. When there are primary schools in your village for us to renovate with this kind of money. No! If I say no! If they want me there, then they have to listen to me. Meaning you don't want to attend their mother's house? I never said that. I will attend if your brothers listen to what I want to tell them. Yes! If not, okay. I won't attend. Please, see honey, this is my mother's. This is the last, last thing I can do for my mother. Please, don't spoil it for me. Please. <laughs> Why are you crying? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. You always find an avenue to, to, to embarrass me. <laughs> now you found one. Enjoy it. How did I embarrass you? How? <laughs> what have I done that is not in the interest of our family? Why can't you allow my brothers and I to plan our mother's burial in peace? Eh? Then you support us. Eh? That is because you people want to waste money. Yes, you people want to waste money and I do not like it. Anything you do for your dead person, the person does not know because the person is gone. The person is gone. When you can use that money to, to do business, start a business and employ people and take them off the street and you'll be supporting the government. No, you people want to waste it on burial. It is wrong. It's my money I'm talking about, so you heartless man. It's my mother. I am not being heartless. I'm only telling you the truth. It is wrong. Any money I have today, I have it because I want the heart. I want very hard for my money. Yes, I do not waste money. I can send you people some little support. You know, my own way of supporting you. So you go. Yes, you go and do your burial. But if you and your brothers want me, Gregory Pitobi, to go for that burial, then you must allow me to manage the burial the way I manage the affairs of an state. I will be made the head of 
the planning committee. If not, I will not be there. Let me be. Allow me to mourn the dead in peace. Allow me. You, you heartless and insensitive man. Leave me alone. Listen, Ify. Don't let that man embarrass you. Don't let his annoying character dissuade you from giving your mother the fitting burial she deserves. Hmm? I heard you, Sabina. But the truth is that I can never stop regretting getting married to Gregory. He is the most annoying man I have ever met in my entire life. I already know. I mean, I'm not a stranger to his character and behavior. But that is why you must stand your ground. You know he doesn't have shame. But you do. Which is why you must allow things to be done the proper way. I discussed with my brothers. Mm -hmm. And they say that it would be nice for us to allow him to do things his own way. Since he's like an elder brother to them. Why? Why? I don't understand it. Why can't they make burial plans for their own mother without involving Gregory? He will just come and scatter things. Babe, you know I'm only but a woman. But I will make sure my brothers do the right thing. Yes. Are we? You better. For your own good. Let the right thing be done. If not, hmm, the blame and the shame will go to you, not your husband. <laughs> you know you can't shame the shameless. I thank you all for recognizing my position in the family and making me head of the burial committee. Yes, and putting me in charge of all the arrangements for the burial. Yes, and Mama was very, very close to me. And up till now, and I know forever, she will live in my heart. So, believe me when I say that I will give her the kind of burial that is befitting for somebody that is dear to my heart. So, all necessary support I will give, and all other arrangements will be properly taken care of. Why only you? I believe my brother's here. We'll be able to support in planning. No, sister. Let him handle everything. So we are not really good in planning. But I'm sure we are willing to fund everything. Uh, yes. Huh? Yes. Ah, your son do have made so much money. Uh, a good dog. Mwoge Buzige Pentecost. And I am ready to sponsor the burial of my late mother. And I have friends who are coming in from outside the country. And I want that ceremony to be a talk of the town. Hello, Ibuka. Manamera, Chawago. As you can see, Ega brought the problem. You wanna go? I also have kings and queens that are that are gonna be around on that day. So all I want is assurance. It's on everybody that will go go tap tap tap. I am still talking with the Kubana and I'm from Wokem. Come down. Yeah, the Kubo will go. Whatever. So that's it. Honey, what my brothers are trying to say is that they are capable of burying our little one. There is nothing to be afraid of when it comes to finance or expenses. So please. We want everything to go well. It's okay. Everything will go well. Yes. Believe me. Everything will go well. Okay. Uh, I believe at this point we should look at the list and see how much each person will contribute. If there are other arrangements as well, other things we'll talk about, we'll discuss. I hope I have spoken well, my others. Yeah, of course. Of, of there, you have you spoken, spoken well. well. Um, we don't have much to say because you people are capable. Hmm? 
My dear, thank you. I was so shocked at my husband's amazing transformation of that day. <laughs> oh my God. My husband was agreeing to everything my brothers and I were saying in that meeting. You can't believe it. Hmm. It is really unbelievable, Chef. <laughs> totally unbelievable. I can't believe it. Well, anyone can change at any time. It's possible. You see, do you even know the kind of man if he here is married to? I doubt you do. You know, I was a bit skeptical in agreeing with my husband's own method. I mean, I'm worried. I'm still worried. What if he is doing all this in pretense? Exactly my point. That's what I've been trying to say. Make sure he does all that he promised to do in the burial. Oh, yes. Definitely I will. Anyways, I called you guys here for us to discuss about it. I should be. And that you guys are going to rock for me on that day. No, yeah. you're talking now. <laughs> <laughs> And I will need us to get like four of our friends to yeah. join us. What do you think? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Oh my god. I can't wait for that day. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh. You can say that again. <laughs> okay, let's discuss. What material do you want to study? Um, okay. Um, yeah. I think I've got some very nice mm. samples. Okay. I trust I was you. Yesterday, I'll just show you. Of course, you know. I was afraid. <laughs> The family is good, we are all fine. Father, I lost my mother in law. Sir, I'm so sorry for that. It's okay. Has a better date been fixed yet? Yes, the date has been fixed. 11th of this month. 11th of this month? Yes. Uh, I came to see you, Father, and I brought this money. Oh. I'll tell you why. You know, in the Catholic doctrine, it is believed that when a person dies, uh, the soul goes to either heaven, uh, hell, or purgatory. So I decided to bring this money because I want to book masses for my late mother-in-law and I want the masses to last for at least 10 years. Mm. Yes, Father. I want us to keep praying for her just in case she's in purgatory. I believe the prayers and the masses will touch the heart of God to move her from purgatory to heaven. That is why I have come, Father. Robert, you have done so well. Your unity and intelligence is worthy to emulate. Thank you, eh? And I want to believe the woman is so dear to you. Oh, she is very dear to me. If I wish she was alive, she took me like her own son. Yes, she was always there for me. So now that she is no more, I want to do the best I can do for her. Peter, you have done so well. You are such an humble man. Then we go and see you later, little father. Good deeds be like trees planted by the riverside. It never dies. I don't understand why I don't Please. I want to plead with you this evening. My late mother's burial is this weekend. Please. I want you to make sure that everything is on point. Please. I want you to use all the list that was given to me. That is the list that I am working with. Please, stick to that list. Stick to it, please. Lots of my friends will be coming, including my brother's friends. Please, do not disappoint me. I beg you. Don't you trust me? Eh? Am I not your husband? Don't you trust me? Have I ever disappointed you? You have nothing to worry about. It is the list that I am sticking to, the list that you people gave to me. Please make sure my dad. I said it will go well. Get us and make breakfast for me and the children. Yes. Come. <laughs> trust me, your husband. Everything will go well. I'm 
anything to the village. I told you before, I have sorted out everything, everything is sorted out, let us go. Honey, please hold on, hold on. Are you saying we should just go to the village like that without anything? My dear wife, hold me by my word, hold me by my word, everything is sorted out, let us go. Baby, baby calm down, calm down, just hear me out. What about canopies, chairs, food, drinks, what, what about what? I just said, hold me by my word. Everything has been sorted out. Eh? We are running late. Let us go. Oh my God. 
going to bless you, sir. I'm going to bless your way to the community. Hey. Oh, I'm going to bless you. Hey! 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 God we bless you, sir. God we bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. You changed my life. Please remember to use your money to do not waste it. Do not waste it. Do not waste it. Do not waste it. Thank you, sir. Okay, for one sir. It's a lie. On the It's a lie. I'm rich. for you. I'm rich. Yes. I'm rich. It's a lie. It's a lie. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Get up, man. Get up. He gave me the money. I'm rich. I'm rich. My life has changed. God bless you. Hey. My life has changed. I'm rich. I'm rich. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Since my husband left me with this child. Hey, thank you, sir. I have been suffering. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. i need a flexion life. Remember to save some money. As you said, your money. What is the meaning of this? Eh? Why have you chosen to disgrace all of us with our visitors? Uh, what I have done is very simple. Our people waste money on burials. And somebody, if you are dead, you are dead. No matter how much we spend on you, the money cannot bring back that person. So I said, no, I will not waste money in this burial. Instead, I will use the money to empower our youth. These are future leaders of tomorrow. So I will use the money to empower them. When they grow, they will also empower other people. That way, our country will be better. My, my I don't, I don't. What, 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 what is happening here? Eh? Eh? What kind of law is this? Eh? This, this, this is our, our mother's burial now. What I need mean is very simple to understand. Listen, listen, listen. Chalo. My God, what's the mama koko? Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, yes, yes. Jesus uh, is on the way, come here. What do you here? What do you do 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 here? spend a lot of money. Yeah, uh, money. Come on, chief priest. Me am going to call. Yeah, come here. What do you do here? What's the good vibe? The cock on Kong, the TR of Apazian, the Mkokoko. Very bad. It's very bad. I'm not going to you. I'm respecting you. What are you going to do? Gregory! Gregory! I believe I have made my point. I will not waste money on burial. If you are dead, you are dead. I will use the money to empower our youth, and that is exactly what I have done, and it is fine now. I am I am still your husband. Just let me be. Okay, that's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. We'll be coming. You can't. We can't. Let Let us go inside. And do what? And take more embarrassment from you? I'm be coming. You cannot leave your husband. We we let me be. We can talk about this. We can talk about this. For how long are we going to talk about it? Huh? We 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 cannot. You cannot leave me. Oh, what will I be doing if you leave me? They call me. They call me. Let us go inside. We can sit down as husband and wife and we talk about it. And everything will be okay. There is nothing to talk about. 
Please. It was too much. The embarrassment was too much. What were you thinking? I, 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 I'm sorry. Please. We can sit down and let discuss this. Discuss what? Discuss what? Please. What was going said, eh? We can't fix this. We can fix it. As far as one more one, we can fix it. Please. Please, 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 please. 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 Peter, the news of what you did at your mother in laws burial remains the talk of the century. To be honest, you are something else. Well, you are not one of those people who believe I embarrass myself and my wife. Embarrass? No. Peter, see. What you did is what some people have been trying to end in a very long time. They turned a barrier into a carnival. But in your own case, it was different. You turned a barrier into a scholarship award ceremony. My wife thinks I'm crazy. In fact, she is planning to end the marriage. But Peter, you will not blame her. Even me. At times, I think you are crazy. But that woman should go and thank God for giving her such a great man like you. A man who is not afraid to change the narrative. A man who is not afraid to effect change and stand his ground. A man with a good heart. See, Peter, sometimes I sleep and wake up Praying to God that one day you will become the president of Nigeria. To be honest. Thank you very much, Victor. Thank you for your kind words. I wish my wife would see things the way you are seeing them. Unfortunately, she is keeping malice with me. But I pray she comes around soon. She will come around. Just be patient with Abita. You know, just like our Lord Jesus Christ and his disciples, they went through all the persecution. Okay? I know a valley that one day your wife will realize that you are that angel that she's praying to God for. Good deeds be like trees planted oh, by the riverside. Oh, <laughs> If I'm still asking you, what are you still doing in that man's house? I wanted to leave, but he pleaded. Just like that. He pleaded and you accepted like that. After the monumental disgrace and embarrassment he gave to you at the burial. I know. And that is why I will never forgive Gregory in my entire life. Yes, I will never forgive him. Well, you should not even be with him. You should not be in his house. You should be far, far, far away from that man. What about my kids? They will be fine. Hmm? They will be fine, you said. Let me ask you a question. What about if he gets married to another woman? Because I know that is the next thing he will do as soon as I leave that house. What guarantee do you have that that woman will take care of my kids like us? Answer me. But... But nothing! Are you even the one talking? Are you not the one who said that you didn't leave my husband for the sake of my kids? Why are you not advising me advice? Well, that was before he did what he did at the burial. That was before he disgraced you. Embarrassed you. Mom, everybody is talking about it. And it won't leave their lips or their mind in a long time. Sabina, I will not leave Gregory's house. At least for the sake of my kids. Okay? As for Gregory, my marriage with him is long gone. It is over between me. Thank 
point. Yeah. Well, I was told you didn't get to do this day in the last couple of years. That's really not going to do this. Amen, man. Yeah. You don't have to thank me, Father. I'm only doing the work of God. Yes, you cannot be thanking me when I'm giving back to God what God has given to me. Once it comes to the work of God and, and the church, I will always do it happily. Amen. Oh, you are such a wonderful man. Please continue doing this good work Amen. in the sight of God and the sight of man. And may the Lord continue to bless you. Amen. Let me pray for you. Good deeds be like trees planted by the riverside. It never dies. It always My son. Doesn't. Amen. I heard what he did in Umuma village. Did my actions disappoint you? Oh, no, 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 no. You made us proud. I mean, I have never seen or heard such thing being practiced in a burial ceremony. The youth of this community are so proud of you, and they cannot say less of what you have done for them. Yes, uh, you are truly a noble man worthy of leadership position in our society. I am sure various ceremonies will be the same again. I heard that Nana, the one that lost his father in our community, is planning on giving scholarship and financial assistance to our people during his father's burial. Yes, I am quite sure that um, a lot of people will admit this. Quite sure about that. What a great impact you made there, my son. And I am more than proud of you. I want to especially thank you for the project you've been ushering out in our community, which is geared towards giving our people facelifts. Thank you very much. Thank you, my king. But uh, honestly, you really don't have to thank me because I'm only doing what I'm supposed to do. Yes. I pray that other permanent people will also emulate it. God will continue to bless you and uh, strengthen you to do more and continue to teach people the right path of life. Amen. Hey, oh no. Uh, 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 this man will never cease to uh, uh, impress us. You see, with this transformer now, he donated. Eh? Many other uh, uh, infant industries will take off. Hey. Those doing pure water business, those such a thing, one thing or the other, the, those sewing clothes, you know, eh? whatever business, barbing salon, whatever hey. thing you are doing with power, eh? you now it's have here. Uh, it's electricity. It's you now have power. It's here. Listen to me. I will be the first person to use this light. I'm going to my house now and on my own light now. It should, it should, oh, oh. It should be turned by turn. I am the only one. Allow me to go and on my own. Oh, no, <laughs> whatever thing you want to do with <laughs> electricity now, you can do it at your liberty and your leisure. <laughs> hey, hey. Eh? but let Almighty God bless this man more and more. He say. Hey. Huh? Hello, Anam. I'm Riverside. It never dies. It always dies. But the power comes on me as a king of this community. I see it in the presence of our ancestors. Today, the people of this community agree to give you this title. You are the rock of this country. You are the pride of this pride land. You will be a succor to many people. You will be a comforter to people that are looking for you. Yes. The people of this country are already in search of you, but we are proud in this title that we have found you. You are worthy to be the rock. Yes.
attend a chieftaincy title without your wife? It's very obvious that you have given up on us, right? That's not true. That is not true. If anybody has given up on us, that person is you. Yes, I am your husband and I still believe in you. I care so much about you. You care so much about me, yet you treat me this way. It's very obvious you are planning on getting another wife. How can you say a thing like that? It's not true! Eh? I have done absolutely nothing wrong to you to deserve this kind of statement. It is wrong! I'm not planning anything like that! No, 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 don't tell me that! I'm sorry for keeping malice with you all this while. It was because of your actions during my mother's death. I know you must have done all that with good intentions. But the truth is that I didn't like it. I didn't expect you to like it. I know that posterity will explain better. I felt so bad when I heard all the functions you attended without me. My brother even called me to congratulate me on your shift and sit tight. He also said that they have been seeing and hearing all you have been doing for the people and your own people. That they are proud of you. I'm sorry I attended all those functions without you. Hmm? I'm sorry. The truth is, I felt that if I tell you, you may not want to go with me because you've been angry. You didn't ask. You didn't even tell me. I'm sorry, huh? Eh? I'm sorry. It will not happen again. Good deeds be like trees planted by the riverside. Yes, sir. It never it's dies. It always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle, soaring so high above. The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes. I am most impressed. When I came in to the school and I saw the new I set up by one of the parents of this great school. Despite the fact that this school is a government school, he didn't wait for the government before doing the need for. And I also heard he installed computers in the computer lab. Hmm, really, Mr. Gregory is worthy of emulation. And um, I believe most of the parents here 
you are motivated by this, by his great benevolence. And on this note, for me, I propose to buy books for all the students in this school that have no books. I once lost hope of ever seeing anything good coming from this school. Nobody was willing to bring his or her child to this school because of the poor nature of this school. But today, you see, the story has changed. All because of you. Hmm. On this note, I am donating the sum of 250,000 Naira. Yes. To support the employment of more teachers wow. in the school. I must say, I am more than motivated. It takes one good man in a society to make a change. And that's what we're seeing now. Mr. Gugui, I am so proud of you. Thank you for taking the lead while others follow. Well, for that, I'll be donating the sum of 50,000 Naira for the future development of this great school. Yeah. I'll be single mother with two kids. I want support with the sum of 10,000 naira. Mm -hmm. Living in this community, I'm very happy seeing the changes happening in this place. And I'm impressed for that. I'm ranking my service as a teacher, following the first step of the teacher. Wow. The excellency, I'm so grateful to you. I'm thanking you. So I'm supporting with the 10,000 Naira. Um, your excellency, you've had them all. Can we please put the hands together for a man who has come Sabine, I'm super proud of my husband. I have never felt this way in a very long time. I'm telling you. If he... <laughs> Is everything all right? I know why you feel that way. But let me tell you something. Somehow, I thank God for the things my husband has been able to accomplish. Mm. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> Okay, okay, Please. okay, Wait. okay. Where are all this coming from? I don't <laughs> understand. So, I I know my husband might be annoying and terrible, but I thank God for his life for today. You need to see how people were singing praises of my husband <laughs> for the good things and the decision he has made on their behalf. Mm. I am. In fact, I have never felt this proud in my heart like I feel right now about that man. <laughs> okay, I attended a particular event with my husband. Hmm. Baby, you need to see how people were shouting praises at my husband. I'm telling you, that man is in the mind of people, oh. Like, people don't joke with Greg. <laughs> and if I am to suggest, hmm? <laughs> baby, why don't you consider running for the office of the president 2023? Why is everybody asking me the same question? Because you have the capacity to transform this country. You did it once as the governor of this state, and you did very well. I believe you can do better with presidents. 
Well, I, I broke my back. Another person can try. My darling, no other person can do it better. Give it a thought. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a thought. You know I'm proud of you. Okay, let me go get your like trees <laughs> planted by the riverside. It never dies, it always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle. Soaring so high above The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes oh, Might not please you, but cares for you Might not be the best, but right for you Honey, is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I'm just going through some reports. Are you set to me? I'm set. Are uh, you not going to work today? No, I won't be going to the office. Why? Honey, I'm just tired. I don't think I'm feeling too well, so I won't be going. What would you like to see a doctor? Mm, I'll be fine. I just want to stay in the house, have some rest. I believe I'll be fine. Okay. Make sure you get some good rest, eh? It's okay. Have a good rest. How do I breathe? I don't get it. I told you the money I gave to you. I borrowed from a friend. Now she's asking for her money. Sabina. It's just talk to her. Let her be patient with me. I will pay. You know the situation of things with me right now. So please, bear with me and talk to her. Please. I don't know the possibilities of that, okay? And I don't like this, Ify. I don't expect this coming from you. Okay? Please. If you know the way I finally gave it up with you. Please. Quietly find it and give it to me. Let me return you back to the owner. I don't want anything coming in between my friendship with that lady. Please. Samina, you are my friend. You know everything. Where do you expect me to get this money from? Where, where do I get it from? I don't care. And what kind of question is that? Why would you be asking me? I don't understand you. I don't care. All I need is that you make the money available the same way I gave it to you. It's me I'm talking to. Are you raising your voice at me or something? Oh, yeah. Ify, please. Keep quiet. Okay? Just shut up if you don't have what to say. All I know is I need that money back. I don't really understand. Someone gave me money and I'm supposed to give her back. You're, you're saying all this you're saying. Find the money and give it to me. You have between now and next week to make the money available. If not, the Sabina you're seeing now is, is not the one that you'll see next. Please. Excuse me. She's talking to me like this. Oh my God. Sabina talking to me? Raising her voice at me? Oh God. I'm 
I'm a tax spotter. I call them investment. Person where no get investment, no fit to trade them. And so before you pass a judgment, make you calculate them. Money they pile up, oh. I call them a conoche. Money they pile up, oh. I call them a conoche. You can call it stingy, I call them prudence. You can call it anything you want to, I call them a conoche. From consumption, we turn them to production. From corruption, we could change them to good governance. Is there anybody for life when no one jolly? Is there anybody for life when no one could sing? Yeah. And so before you pass your judgment, think I'm well, well. Oh. And so before you make up your mind, think I'm well. Oh, we're gonna check. I'm gonna check on each other. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Oh, What's in your mind? I was hoping by now he would have told me what exactly is going on. For three days you've not gone to your shop. I have sales people selling for me, so there's no need of me going there. I went to your shop, the place is locked up. What? You went to my shop? For what now? Are you not monitoring me or something? Why are you getting worked up over nothing? I'm getting myself worked up over nothing. You, 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 you want my shop? Are you, are you now a monitoring spirit? Monitoring me? How is it your business? Eh? If I open my shop, if I don't, why, why, why are you not monitoring? I don't, I don't like it, oh. Please, I don't like it. Please, leave me alone. Please, I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. I was just upset with what is going on with my business. What happened? I don't know what is wrong with my business. Um, I don't know where my money went to. You don't know where your money went to? Were you duped? No. Uh, it simply means you invested the money in the business or you squandered it. I did not invest the money. I can't even see any ghosts in my shop anymore. I'm even struggling to pay people I borrowed money from. Borrowed? Has it gotten to the point of borrowing money from somebody? We'll discuss it when I come back. Good deeds be like trees Planted by the riverside it never dies. It always loves you. A good man is like the eagle, soaring so high above. The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes. Oh, might not please you, but cares for you. Might not be the best, but right for you. Look, and you'll find love. In the you know, what happened to your business money isn't far fetched. Yes, your extravagant lifestyle saw the end of that business. Yes, if you had been doing simple trading. 
Lost it and lost account and proper inventory. You would have seen where that business started suffering losses. I now know better. I'm sorry. I feel so ashamed. Of no, 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 my dear wife. Don't say that. No, come. Come, come. Don't. See? There is no shame in failure. No, no shame, man. Nobody is perfect. Mm -mm. You seem so perfect. <laughs> no, no, my dear wife. That is where you are wrong. See, I have made so many mistakes in the past. Yes, so many mistakes that I regretted. But I never stayed down. Anytime I fall, I must get up and learn from my failure and I keep going. In fact, in this life, failure is good. It's good for one to fail. Sometimes you learn, get correction from there and you keep going. Eh? I will give you money to do your business again. Okay, <laughs> serious? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, darling. But I don't think I'm ready to carry on with the business right now. Yes, I need some time to get myself prepared for this whole thing. All I need now is to settle my debtors. That is not a problem at all. I will give you enough money to settle your debtors. I'll still give you money to do business again. Yes. My wife cannot be seen to be owing people, and my wife will never be seen as a failure. No, never. You will do business again. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I thought you would have condemned me after this whole thing. But no, I was wrong. In fact, you are the nicest man on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel so ashamed that it's, it's taking me this long to realize how nice you are. I'm sorry. I promise to change. I promise to be that supportive of you that you have always hoped I become. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Planted by the riverside. Thank you. It never dies. It always I think this is too much. Uh, what do you think we should just cut down this? Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Did you just say cut down? You? Yes. yes, I said cut down. Look at it. See, we can't just spend all this money just to buy food. It would be nice we also spend the money to get some other important things that we need in the house. So we should just cut down. Hey! You are saying we should cut down you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It shows you are finally understanding where I have been coming from. Yes. It took me losing my business money for me to realize how I have been mismanaging money. And I need to cut down. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy and I hope your friends will also learn from you. I will let them know. I will tell my friends, those who are married, and those who are yet to marry how important it is to be conservative mm -hmm. and manage money well <laughs> uh, well if you ask me i will say that uh, it's okay it's okay it is obvious you've come down on a lot of things already it is okay no, but baby look at the cost total cost i think Still very no, 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 it is not too bad. I've checked it, I've checked the prices, I've checked the uh, quantity. I think everything is okay. It's okay for our family. I will make the money available for you immediately. Eh? Anything you say, my darling. 
It never dies. It always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle, soaring so high above. The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes. Yes. Listen. I hope um, that is exactly the amount of money I borrowed from you both. Oh, oh, come on, Ify. You didn't have to stress yourself. I, I wasn't complaining. <laughs> In fact, I was even saying, you can take your time. Eh? Pay this money when you have it. And what are friends for? <laughs> it's fine. The money is here now. And we're good, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, Ify. It's not that I like disturbing you every day over the phone. It's because of what the money I borrowed you was made for. And the owner was asking me of it. Please, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I, I totally understood. So I'm fine, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is cause for celebration. I mean, we should have very um, tasty and delicious lunch and wash it down with a very good, luxurious champagne. You know how we do it, girls. Sleepy, are you gay? The iron lady herself. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry girls. Um, I won't be able to eat nor drink with you guests right now. To be sincere, I'm trying to be straight and quit this lifestyle because it doesn't want it. Okay? And I will encourage you girls to try if you can. Quit this lifestyle. Okay? It took me a drastic downfall of my business for me to realize the kind of friends that I have. But it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I will uh, beg to excuse you guys right now. Have a wonderful day, girls. <laughs> Are you working out or not? <laughs> Exactly what I'm doing, my girl. Have a wonderful day, okay? Seriously? Bye. Come on, girl. What is wrong with this one? What is she feeling like? Like saying that she holy pass or what? Eh? What did this monkey do you need to say she tell? Because she won't spend one small wretched money for a year. Please! <laughs> Can imagine. Oh, yeah, don't come out to that. That's a good one. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. My husband? CEO McVice International. See who is Kashanka. The same man I'm living on that same roof with.
I'm fine, thank you. And you? Did you miss me? Yes, I did. Are you sure? Yes, I did. <laughs> How was your day? <laughs> Baby. What is wrong with you? Don't you know you can be kidnapped if care is not taken? I don't understand. Why are you living a careless life? Mm. Why do you live your life so careless, mm. considering your position in the society? No position. Okay. Apart from the fact that you were once the governor of this state, you are the CEO of Nest Kashankari and two other multinational companies, right? I see you being going through my documents. By accident. Baby, you once told me that you are a consultant to Ness Cash and Card. But you never told me that you are the owner of that company. At this point, please. I think it would be nice to move with security. I'll only move with security if I'm not sure of the source of my wealth. Or if I stole the money, I have never taken money that does not belong to me. No! I was governor of this state for eight years. But once I never stole one neither. Never! The only money that got to me was my salary as governor and I was okay. When I finished serving the state diligently, I told them all oh, their security and everything. Let them take it and go. I went back to my simple life. So why should I be scared of uh, kidnappers and, and, and criminals? They do not even know my work. My God. I must say that I envy your simple lifestyle, my God. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I'll tell you how I do it, my darling. Discipline. Mm. Yes. I have disciplined myself never to show off my wealth. I have disciplined myself never to spend money unnecessarily. Yes, anytime you see me spending money, I spend money judiciously. And I spend that money to pay return. I do not waste money. You will not see me engaging in frivolities. No, no. Instead, I use that time to think of how to expand my business because I know that when I expand my business, I will employ more people, take young boys and girls off the street and give them jobs. Yes, that way I will be helping the economy and helping the country. That is what I do. I do not waste my money. You are my wife, you know. You've known me for many years, you know. Anybody who does not believe me, let that person go and verify. I must say that I feel ashamed of myself for not recognizing the man I've been living with all these years. Good deeds be like trees planted by the riverside, it never dies. It always blossoms. Babe, I think it would be nice for us to send our kids abroad to go do their first degree and master's degree over there. What do you think? As for master's degree, they can do that one abroad. Uh, but their first degree, I want them to get it in a Nigerian university. Baby, you always know that everything in this country is substandard. Yeah, I agree, but I, I, I studied in the University of Nigeria and Suka, and I had the best result in philosophy. So if their father can do it, they can do it too. No excuses. Our insecurity here and everyday strike in our universities here. Mm -hmm. Well, we can enroll them in a private university. Although I would have preferred them to attend the government university, but everything is so bad now. 
Our leaders have destroyed this country completely. Eh? The health sector is in trouble, the educational sector, every sector is in pieces. Africa is currently going down the drain. You will not believe that as of 2021, the total public debt of Africa was $726.55 billion. Yes, as we speak, Nigeria is owing $63.24 billion US dollars. Tell me, how and when are we going to pay all this money? Eh? Africa is suffering, Africa is going down the drain. Oh, because of bad leaders, corrupt leaders. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Do you know I get goosebumps? Anytime you intelligently analyze the situation of this country and the Africa at large, I feel we're not, we not even meant to be here. If we all run away, we will be here. Huh? We will fight to, to, to make the country better for everybody, for our children. So I'm not, a, I'm not one of those people who will say that people should run away. We have no other country but Nigeria. Yes. So we will stay back and make the country work. That is what I keep teaching our children. Let them stay back, stay here. Study hard and contribute to the development of Nigeria. Because we have no other country. Yes. I want our children to know that they should never ever give up for any reason at all. Never. Nigeria is the only country we have and Nigeria must work in our lifetime. It must work. I think you are right. You should remain here. You should just do your, 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 your first degree. Yes. And then go over there for your master's degree. Thank you for understanding, eh? Man, no way get to love. <laughs> okay, uh, Man, no way get to sensual. Man, no way get to better plan for the people. Now, who be that too? It's all be. Man, no way love a god. Man, no way bring joy. Like, is this your show? <laughs> of course. Welcome. Are you sure I'm not in the wrong place? You are not, my dear. This is my place. You're welcome. You own this place? Yes, I own this place. This is magnificent. <laughs> oh my Thank you. God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is your place. This is my place. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Sabina, this is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. How? How did it happen? You yes. moved from a small space to this big space, so fully stocked. My darling, all thanks to God Almighty and my lovely husband. I thank God for giving me that man. Gregory is the best man on this planet Earth. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. How come my business news died and nobody got me back on my feet? <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. So, so where's everyone? Where, where are your staff? Where are your sales girls and... Um... They are no longer there. There's no need for them anymore. I now have workers who come in the morning, clean the place, arrange the place for the needs. I run my businesses. Besides, there are CCTVs all over my place. So I'm fine. <laughs> wow, this is upgrade. great. Um, but I don't know, how does it work? Is it not stressful? I can't adjust. Adjust, I see. Adjustment. Oh, well, you know, I thought things were like usual. I thought I'd walk in to meet a lot of staff, you know, one or two people helping in here and there. Mm -mm. Yes. The issue you know then is no longer the issue you are seeing now. A lot has changed. Hmm? Oh, well, that's good. Mm. You know, there's always room for growth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. 
my god. Ooh. This is good. Please, um, I do so first. Can I have a bottle of chilled red wine, you know? You know how we do now, baby girl. Enjoyment minister. Enjoyment uh, minister, indeed. <laughs> Sabina, if you are thirsty, I can send one of my security guys to go get you a bottle of water to drink, okay? Enough of the heavy spending. I no longer do that. Yes, I thought you usually have, you know, a fridge where you stock drinks for customers and <laughs> friends like you and uh, Lucy. You don't take much. <laughs> much. All you guys do then is to step into my shop, help me lavish my business money, party, drink champagnes, drink red wine, shield one, right? My darling, it took me the downfall of my business. For me to wise enough, I no longer spend heavily to please those who can never be pleased. Enough of choking myself, my darling. Hmm? <laughs> I don't, I don't like this new me. I don't like it at all. How can you like it? How can you like the new me when all you were doing then was to step into my shop, help me lavish my business money? That was when I realized the kind of friends I had with me. And the real you. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> come on. It's been a long time. Like, now I thought you must have forgiven me. I forgot you. I have forgiven you. If not, I wouldn't have allowed you into this shop. Yes, my darling. And I also allowed you in so that I can tell you this. My husband showed me my errors and reason my business collapse. Sabina, my husband is such an understanding man. Really? And with a wonderful lifestyle. There is nothing wrong with my husband's lifestyle, okay? Come on, please. No. Husband enjoys suffering. He's a stingy man. Mm. And you know what he has succeeded to do? He owes you to be just like him. Mm. Yes. If my husband is stingy and he's able to acquire all the wealth I now know he has, I think I better be deceived and lured into that same stinginess, my darling uh, Sabina. And please, if you are not here to buy anything, I think it will be the right time for you to step out because I have customers to attend to. Really? Yes. <laughs> I was trying to do some calculations mm -hmm. to know how much I've made since you revived my business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I am so much amazed to announce to you that I have done tremendously well. I 
followed your instructions and your advice. I spend wisely now. I no longer spend frivolously. I laid off my staff because I realized that I don't really need them. And I'm getting better. <laughs> I know I'm not yet where you want me to be, but I'm making progress. You are making so much progress, my dear wife. Come, 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 come here. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I am super proud of you. Thank you. And I want to say congratulations for not giving up. Thank you. And I have to thank you for not giving up on me, despite my shortcomings. Thank you. <laughs> you, you, you always tell me that I am the best. Yeah, you are the best. <laughs> So at this point, I say we should go up to the bedroom so you can show me truly that I am the best. The best anytime. So let's go up and verify. <laughs> let's go up and verify. Oh, my mother. Uh, if I'm going to look for uh, Greg in his shop. I noticed he's no longer there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he has moved. Yeah, he has moved and um, went into several other businesses. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. and place his uh, senior boy, Obina. Uh, Obi. Yeah, to be in charge. Oh. But recently sent Obina abroad to be shipping goods from there. Wow. So the person in charge now is the last boy. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, I thought as much. You know why? Because the first time I set my eyes on Peter, I knew that he was not going to be here alone. He's far bigger than here. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> you busy. Yeah. That means you don't know Peter. Those times you are seeing him here, he has already had several other businesses. That man is thinking rich. When I mean rich, multi-million dollar which not in my realm. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I know. Let, let, let me tell you the truth. I know he's rich, he's super rich, but I'm not even talking about how rich he is. I'm talking about how do I cow him into accepting to run for this? You know why? Because now that my uncle is still there, it will be easier for me. And like I keep saying, the country is about to lose dive and we need a good pilot to handle this ship so that it does not in any way capsize. Yes. If I tell you you're not right, trust me, I'm lying. But the truth of the matter is, will he be interested? Peter that I know will keep insisting that he's not interested. That is the problem. If you let me tell you, let's be honest. You know him, I know him. You have kids, I have kids. And if we cannot guarantee the future of our kids, then we'll have a problem. Posterity will not forgive us. Let me tell you, we must pressure him to accept this very thing. He's the only man that can pull us out of this doldrum, out of this quagmire. Man, understand me. See what I'm saying, you know? You're yeah, right. So that's just that. So I will, I will, I will, I will, I'll still make our time to see him again. It is really necessary. Of course it's necessary. It's very necessary. We need to support those flood victims. Yes. We have a roof over our heads. Those flood victims do not have. They do not have and they do not have food. So we need to go there, visit them, pray for them and give them financial support. That is what God says we should do and that is the meaning of being a human being. Yes. You are right. Thank you. You know, I can't stop wondering what my life would have been without an amazing man like you. Thank you for sharing this part of life with me. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. 
Oshé, Baba. Oshé. Oshé. God will never forget this. I have lost hope of going back to school. Oh. Yes, I have lost hope. Oh. Thank you very much for making my dream come true for going back to school. I can never forget this. Oh. I will continue to pray for you. Eh, I will continue to pray for you. Eh? I believe someday. I go pay you back. No, no, oh, she? no, no, she? no, 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 no. You do not need to pay me back. No. All I need is for you to go to school, eh? Concentrate, focus, and learn. So that by the time you come out, you will contribute to the growth of this country. You two can be greater than me if you focus and learn, eh? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, despite the tribal differences, you chose to show love to us. We total stranger. Oh, Thank you very no, much. Do you not see yourself as total strangers, eh? We are all one. Our nationality is the same. We are all Nigerians. Eh? Do not ever see yourself as a total stranger. Okay? My prayer for you is that you will do well in life and you will contribute to the growth of our dear country, Nigeria. Inshallah. Hi. Make me proud, though. Can you hear me? Make me proud. Must you help everybody is here in the world? What business do you have with the Yoruba and the Aosa? Do you have anything in common with them? <laughs> My dear wife, this is where you are getting it wrong. Don't be seeing them as a Yoruba people and the Aosa people. I see them as one. All of us are one in this country. You see, this is the mentality that has kept us where we are today in this country. Yes! The mentality that we are not one, that we are from different tribes, it is that mentality that is killing our country. That is why we have so much chaos, so much corruption and insurgence. The moment we all begin to see and believe that we are one in this country, everything in Nigeria will change for the better. Yes, yes. So, my dear wife, eh? I need you to always stand with me. Always help me. Join me. Join me and preach unity. Preach progress. Preach oneness. Preach love. And most importantly, preach humanity. Man the way gets love. Man the way gets sensual. Man the way gets a better plan. For the people, now who be that <clears throat> My king, believe me, that man Gregory Obi should be allowed to run for the office of the president of this country. Oh no, we've been thinking alike nowadays. I've been thinking about this over time. I had discussed this with my Lolo yesterday. Greg Roby is indeed a wonderful man and he has done us proud. He has done what most young men of his age bracket isn't able to do. He is pure in heart and always ready to alleviate anyone around him. Always ready to give a helping heart. And I can proudly beat my chest 
that if he gets into power, he will do wonders. My king, you are very correct. He will surely do wonders. Now look at it this way. All our youths, I mean all our youths are doing well in their business because of the help they got from him. That man truly deserves everything good. I agree with you, or no. If not that um, this throne of our kingdom is a generational thing, I would ask him to come sit here. For he has done what I can never do for our people throughout the years. I'll be sitting here as a king. Hey, my king. Should we invite him and inform him our intention? No. Hmm. That would be like trekking from Cape to Cairo. Gregory Peter B. had told me that is not interested in becoming the president of this country. But I will still urge our people to help me beg him to reconsider his decision. <clears throat> I see. In that case, my king, I will have to get across to some of our people and implore them to join us in pleading with him. I still can't believe what happened today. Did Igwe tell you his reason for inviting you before now? No, he didn't tell me I got there. I was so surprised to see the crowd there and they were pleading. Okay. Now that your people and even your friends were pleading, that you run for the office of the president, what are you going to say to them? I don't know. You must say something to them. At least tell them what they want to hear. And what is that thing they want to hear? That you will be running for the office of the president. That. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> I have the intention to run for president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2023. Good. That's good. Fine. I love that. Thank you, Father. That is why I decided to come and see you. I would like to put masses as to place my intention before God. You're welcome. In fact, Nigeria will be very happy to have someone like you to come and service this problem that we are facing in this country. Seeing you, that when you serve as the governor, you did well. You know that you still do well again. Thank you, Father. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for your son. Lord, you see him true. He never dies. It always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle, soaring so high above. The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes. Oh, might not please you, but cares for you. Might not be the best, but right for you. Look, and you'll find love. In the stranger's place
A good life is like a badge Sticking by the other side No matter how you hide it It always showing It's your reserve to scale the hills That takes you to the top No matter what you're going through Is it one to a maca? A queen of home. Can you name it? Can you name it? Yeah, but a lion. Yeah, but a lion. Macana, um, one of Chukune, a quaggy. Can you name it? Yeah, just a big. Macana. My father told me that greatness is not bought, but earned. He also told me to trust only God and my instincts. I have taken a very good look at our country today and it's clear, it's obvious that our dear country Nigeria is going down the drain every day and someone needs to step up and salvage our country and that person must be a person of high integrity and high moral. And so, my dear wife, I have decided to be that person, to step up, take the mantle, and run for president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 2023. Wow! <laughs> Thank you so much. It never dies. It always blossoms. A good man is like the eagle, soaring so high above. The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes. Honestly, Mr. Gregory, I'm so happy. I'm so so happy. Because I've been thinking of how to meet you again since after that very day. That's the reason I had to go and bring Ephraim here. To help me convince you. But I'm getting here. Oh my God, what you told me really, really, really amazed me. I promise you, you will not regret this action at all. Your Excellency. No, no, call me Peter. <laughs> Ever present yeah, No, not yet. Until I win. By God's grace, if I win, uh, until then you can call me Greg or oh, Peter. Oh, better still, Mr. Peter. Okutundi <laughs> Buwan. See, uh, Ifem, let's be honest. Mr. Greg, there's this party I belong to. I would like to introduce you to the party. My uncle is the chairman of this very, very party. And all the presidential candidates that we have, none can match you. So I think. Once you come in, pick the nomination form. Forget they will give it to you without much problem. Please, I would like you to do that. Please. Mm. Oh, so there it goes. It's okay, but the earlier, the better. Abby? Okutendibu, <laughs> please. Mr. Peter Gregory Obi. You're welcome. Uh, when my nephew here told me about you the first time, I, I was skeptical about it, to be honest. I felt, um, in fact, I waved it off as one of those things. I felt it was far-fetched. 
But as time went on, um, he kept pushing. The music can push. Huh? He kept coming on and on and on, really now to those achievements and everything. I said, I know, I know, but he said, but that is the point. So after a while, uh, really, I gave it a deeper thought and um, said, well, uh, let's give it a try. Uh, let's give it a shot. I am particularly impressed by what you did in your state, especially cutting down the cost of governance. That's one cardinal thing this country requires at this point in time. We are wasting so much in governance. Legislators, governors, presidents, every, the budget is so high. The current expenditure, it's so heavy. In fact, I am fascinated how you navigated through all of that, you know, with the civil service knowing what they are and um, your state, very sensitive, you know, <laughs> big men all over the place. Mm. So it's it's all kudos to you. Um, so having considered all of that and looking at the political terrain as it is now, I ask him to invite you so that uh, we can see one on one. And um, on that note, I want to formally, formally welcome you to our party. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Mm. Uh, uncle, very strong. Thank you, Uncle. Uh, very committed. I learned it from you, Uncle. What are you? What are you? Thank you, Uncle. Um, so, um, uh, this is just the first step, it's just the beginning, uh, but we need to move very quickly because there is a lot to catch up with. Things are moving very fast, the elections are around the corner. So, I'm uh, going to avail you with our party manifesto and a whole lot of other documents so that you can catch up with um, uh, where we are, what we are doing. I am sure you already know a lot about us. That's why you even came in the first place. But of course, you will need to still know quite a lot. And we also, we know a lot um, about you. We are very similar in so many ways. You are a geologist, how you govern your state. That is what we think governance should be about. That is what we've been preaching as a party. That is what we stand for, true democracy. Government for the people, really, really for the people and for the people not government of the elite and government of uh, the bourgeois and uh, 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 survival of the fittest, no. Mm. So we already share in so many ideologies, but to have, we need time to align these things properly so that uh, moving forward, we'll be speaking with one voice as a party and a candidate. Uh, it won't be uh, such a smooth sell because uh, I don't own the party. I have executive, I have members, I have stakeholders. So I was still going to talk with these people and um, do my best to win them over. But the truth of the matter is, considering the atmosphere we find ourselves in this country now, everybody wants a change. Everybody, except the very few that are exploiting the rest of us. So it won't be easy, but um, I think it is doable that. Um, uh, we can win my party structure over to, to let you in uh, officially, formally, and successfully. Now, welcome once again. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Welcome to our party. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. Um, my chairman, you know, our cabinet. You spend so much, you sacrifice so much. Bringing this new candidate now, how do you think the executive will accept him? Yes, I I had the same fears uh, when this matter came up, but uh, I have given it a deeper thought. And um, I had no choice than to change my mind. Okay? Now look at it this way. If this candidate sells through eventually, Everybody will benefit. This is the kind of candidate we can sacrifice our own personal interests for. And for the interest of the citizens of this country. 
This is a very special candidate. I have taken my time to investigate him and I am amazed how strong he is intellectually, financially and even politically. Yes, to start with, he is a self-made man. He was a billionaire even before he became governor of his state. And during his time as governor, he lived a very simple life. Everybody is aware of that. He reduced his entourage from 25 vehicles or 22 vehicles to just five, sometimes three. I met him once. He was only moving with three vehicles. And I, I, I can go on and on and on. But I can tell you that since that man left office eight years ago, he has never collected one cup as pension or as gratuity or whatever. He went back to his private life. He has chains of businesses in this country and even abroad. He is a rich man through enterprise. Unlike the rest of our people, you know very well. Somebody becomes a billionaire overnight and you cannot place your hand on the business he is doing. This man did not make money from government. So he's an exemplary character. He's exactly the kind of candidate that we need for our party. We've been operating at very low level, let us admit it, it's a fact. But with this candidate, we will compete at the highest level. Think about it. My able chairman, you speak with so much confidence about this man. Oh yes, as a matter of fact, I, I am excited. I am having him around. Okay, now look at his age. He is young, he is agile, he is strong, he has, he is, he is high spirited. He could traverse five states, six states in one day. We've never had any candidate like that. The youths out there are clamoring for him. Even now he's in a different party. They're like, give him the ticket, give him the ticket. So age is on his side. He's not the kind of president that will be uh, shortly from one hospital to another hospital abroad and all that. No. We know our experience in this country. It should not repeat. The other frontline candidates, you, you, can, you, know, you, know, you know how far, you know how far, you know, uh, they, they're looking for who will say it. But they are not healthy. This man has all it takes. That's, that is why I am rooting for him. That's my advice. There's another challenge. It's like our opponents. They are well grounded in Nigerian politics. How do you survive that? Yes, I have talked about that. We will survive. They are, they are grounded in what? They are grounded in misery. It is their grounding into politics that brought us where we are today. So, the people of this country, the youths of this country, the elders of this country, the women of this country, they need a change. They desire a change. They are clamoring for a change. And you can see this candidate as the vehicle of that change. My advice, we cannot miss this opportunity to make this man our candidate. If I am confused, what about the executives? How do we handle them? Oh yes, that is why you and I are the leaders of this party. It is our duty to convince them. But I can tell you that a number of them are also tired of this system. Everybody desires change. I pray to embrace it. Can I tell you something, guys? The truth of the matter is that we need this candidate more than he needs us. Yes, we have been operating at ordinary level all this while. Let's admit it. But with him, with his popularity, with his organic followership, our party shall be catapulted to the highest level. We must shape the destiny of this party, of this candidate. Right. <coughs> Oh, I can I cannot stop congratulating you. The name was on the lips of every of our members. We are not surprised. I am so happy that I am the one that introduced you to the party. So this is a great party. So congratulations once again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, Okute, this is a dream come true. I am glad that you joined our great party. Now you can see the outcome. Our able priest. <laughs> and the party already has a flag bearer. So do not call me what I am not. Uh, at least not yet. 
Oh, they... Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> he just said it. Let me tell you. If you are destined for greatness, greatness you must attain. So, that was the woman. Beyond that, both of us are solidly behind you. So, don't panic. Bro, let's go, let's go to that. Yes, to be nice. Yes. Oh, who's that? Just our information. Oh, who's that? I had a dream. A good man is like the ego. In that dream, we were renting the presence of this great nation. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Do you have any challenge in becoming the president of this nation? No. Not at all. In life, there will always be challenges, but every great man who uh, somehow all those challenges and overcome them and become what you are supposed to become. There are so many other people vying for that position, but I know that I'm the most qualified of all of them. Yes. That's you. I like the spirit. <laughs> I'm proud of you. And I know that God is with you. What God cannot do does not exist. There is no mountain too high for you to climb as long as we have the Almighty God on our side. Yes. Hmm? <laughs> no other person is more competent in this whole world than my husband. <laughs> you are the best. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, my now that you have decided to run for the office of the president for the fourth coming election and inducted into a well-known party, I'm happy. Well, it will interest you to know that I had a meeting with my council of elders and some prominent men, and they are serious about you. So they are all solidly behind you. Thank you, my king. <laughs> Eh, hey, son of the soil, you are the true son of your father. I tell you, no man is more qualified than you in that position. That is true. Uh, my king, you no, know, I thank you for the confidence you have in me. And I promise you today, here and now, that I will not disappoint you. Uh, my able vice. Uh, my chairman, sir. Madam Sega. Sure. Doris, you're welcome. Um, you all know that the forthcoming election is between the old order and the new order. The same old order that has caused our people so much suffering misery and everything bad everything negative poverty in the land it is between that order and a new order of honesty in public service true democracy i think we represent the new order i choose the new order i don't know about you well, you are aware that uh, we have a number of prospective presidential candidates within our party. But I have weighed all of them and I can tell you that none of them measures up to Mr. Peter Gregory Obi. None of them. With due respect. So I want to table this before you, my inner circle, that we find a way to make Mr. Peter Obi our presidential candidate on a post. That is why I called you. You are right, Mr. Chairman. I support it with my full chest. You're welcome. Well, Mr. Chairman, I support that. But you know what? There's going to be a problem. There's bound to be opposition and disagreement among the 
members, considering the fact that he's just got into our party. So what are you saying? I suggest you just throw it open. It's all right. I, I've heard you. Um, you're not the only one that uh, share this uh, sentiment. I've also sampled opinions of one or two persons um, without making the matter open to them. So, but, so, and uh, one or two persons are doing the same line as you are. So, what I think I'm going to do now is that uh, we're going to throw this matter open in our next meeting so that people will hear their opinions and so that we have a unanimous decision so that nobody will feel any kind of imposition because it is not part of the culture of our party yes. is that all right but i want to say one thing and this is very important considering the burgeoning popularity of mr pitopi i believe he's going to be a blessing to our party his candidacy is going to help our party play at the highest level for the first time. So whatever anybody is thinking, just have that in mind. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, sir. Your humble servants are with you. The artisans, captains of industries, men, shakers and movers, they are with you. It is time for you, Your Excellency, to go out there and declare your intention to run for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, please. My darling. Your Excellency, sir. The incoming president, Federal Republic of Nigeria. The great miracle of our time. Mm. You did it once. And within eight years, you transformed the entire state. And it became the best among all the states in this country. You can do it again. Mm. Remember, remember your passion to lead. Remember your passion for humanity. Remember the poor masses. Remember the needy, your affection on them. Mm. It is time for you to go out there and deliver your people. I know you can do it again, my darling husband. Go out there and deliver this great country, my darling. It is a risk to transform this country. And I know you. To showcase your destiny. Your people are with you. Your subjects are with you. The nation at large are with you. It is time for you to showcase your destiny. For your destiny awaits you, my darling husband. Come. Come. Come to your wife. Go out there and make me proud, my darling.
Excellency, the President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Oh, no, 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 not yet, darling, not yet. <laughs> I know, my darling. It will come to reality very soon. And from now on, I will be addressing you as the President. <laughs> Let's continue to put it in the hands of God. Yes, we we'll continue to put it in the hands of God. But remember, you always say that greatness is in sought for, but it's usually by providence. And I know that the Almighty God is in support of this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so let's pray. Amen. So, uh, as far as I am concerned, we're making progress. Yes. 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 Uh, you see, just within this short time, you see the reactions out there. The prospect of uh, Mr. Kito being our party flag bearer is generating so much enthusiasm out there among the youths, among everybody. So I believe we're, we're in the right course, and um, we follow it up to. A logical conclusion. Hmm? Yes. You see, there are so many testimonies out there. So many things we never knew before. They are all coming up all over the place. We did that to that school. We did that to. I was playing football on the streets of Onita. Another person. He saw me looking very tattered and unkept. What? And then he called me and asked me why I was looking very unkept. Then I told my story. I told him how I lost my both parents, how I've been striving with uncles who barely care about me. He took pity, took me in as a son, taught me how to be a good citizen of worthy of emulation. And after since then, I knew I've met my miracle. He took me as a son, introduced me to his business, and before you know, he flew me abroad. And after that, uh, you will see how good looking I am. All thanks to Mr. Gregory Obi. He has been a very wonderful man, worthy of emulation. He has been keeping me, he has been supporting me ever since I met him and told my story to him. And I can say today that nobody, that street rat, is now a big man. You can see for yourself. All thanks to Mr. Gregory Obi. And I and my family would say, I would support him in whichever way it is. You see? Myself. <laughs> Advice. Yeah. Yes. On the right track. Mr. Chairman, I support you right now with my suggestions. He's really doing a great job. He's the best candidate. He, that's, that's what we're talking about. See the kind of philanthropic things he's been doing. And he does it so so effortlessly and so so noiselessly. You wouldn't know if not for this atmosphere, this political atmosphere. Nobody will know that he donated a hundred million naira to a school, and then he did this for this young man. Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to another episode of Philanthropist of the Day. And with me, I have Mrs. This is Bankole's mind. So today, we are going to be talking about the Philanthropist of the Day, who is Mr. Gregory Peter Obi. You all know who Mr. Gregory Peter Obi is. So today, I'm going to be asking Mrs. Bankole more about Peter Gregory Obi. So please tell us more, please. Hmm. You see that man, Mr. Peter Obi? Mr. Gregory Peter Obi. Mm. He's a great man. Oh. That man has saved my life many times and more. The other time, I was very, very pregnant. Mm. I went to the health facility. You know all our first health facility, how it is now? I almost lost my life. But this man, on a visit, saw me the way I was. And he took control. Bam, bam, bam. He saved my life. And I delivered my baby safely. And at the end of the day, he paid my bills. And even to call my child and started taking care of himself, paying money on my child. In fact, that man, any time eh, he comes out for any election, me, I don't pray for Peter Obi. You see that man, he does not know your tribal. In fact, all around me, she, Okuni, I wallet, Kongbeni, Kongbebo, Fubai. 
o ma wole ni even ti ele ton fe di ni nigeria yi o ma wole ko sign ti o ni di bo fu o mo gbadura loruko olorun to wa lo ki orun okun yan wole ko ti esi ni nigeria wa o ma wole ni olorun ba mi se ki bi tabi ko wole o ki gbogbo bo se se ran owo fun mi ko le se ran lowo kaakiri kan le mo tori ko ma usa ko mo yibo ko mo yoba ikan sisho ni gbogbo wa wow you guys you all have heard from mrs bankole see you in our next episode for all about Mr. Gregory Peter Obi, he is the right man to vote for. Thank you. Hello, sir. What do you have to say about Mr. Gregory Peter Obi? Oh, uh, Mr. Gregory Peter Obi is the most kindest man I ever seen on this planet Earth. I was one of the beneficiaries of his annex agenda in Anna Brasted. When my shop got burnt, I received some huge amount of money from him, so that was how I bounced back. God should bless that man for me and let his kind deeds continue to sour high. That's what I pray for him always. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing with us. Hello, please. What do you know about Mr. Gregory Pitalbi? Oh, you mean Oka Gregory Pitalbi? Oh my God. He is a good man, a very, very good man like that. You don't also know <laughs> that man in better like this. Eh? You see what he's been doing for other people. Eh? This man gave my no, he gave my just they distribute, just they walk out, they walk out about, just they distribute things for people. And this man, eh, he start from when he been the beginning, he been small. So that is why he could oh, make person as he day small like this. Eh? May nobody stop him. They can't add when he get like this for people, eh? he go shock you, you say, you know, go know who he will be. So as I'm talking about it, eh, that man is a better person. I made you tell me, a man no, me no go. Sorry, um, please, can you speak that in English? Ah, ah, so tell me, I'm going to be a little bit of a fool. I'm going to be a little bit of a fool. I'm going to be a little bit of a fool. I'm going to be a little bit of a fool. I got scholarship on behalf of that man. I just go to school, they go to school right from when I did small, even till like this. Now, because of that man, oh, that man is a very good man. My young tongue, Frank, but he's going to be a little bit of a fool. He's a good man. Wow. So as I did like this, anything where you want, I go figure, I go figure, I go press my hand for that. Now better man, Mr. Gregory Peter Obi is a good man. Baby. Thank you very much. This is one part of your life that made me fall in love with you. Your philanthropic lifestyle. So amazing. <laughs> but no, sometimes maybe annoying. <laughs> But I'm proud of you. Thank you. So please tell me, um, what do you know about Mr. Mm -hmm. Peter Gregory? We will not be, we will not change now. So we are in the game for Peter Obi. Wow, this is really, really nice. You won't say anything. Um, I think my brother has said everything, and I don't want to say anything again. <laughs> for me, to rent in energy, are they here? Are they here? Are they here? English. I want. I want. What did they told me say? Peter will be a better person. That's on why carry belly. Hmm. Nearly a for die. Peter will be come break health clinic. Say, yeah. You tell me say, ma they go there. No be smart, you know. As I come back down my picking, go take, go give me money. Go tell me say, go try my picking. No be smart. What did they talk? Ma, you know they look me very well. Yeah, be also my me. I be a jia. I put the Peter be a he. What lie? I no go forget them. What did they talk? Say my vote for night. My vote for money. My vote for air afternoon. I go vote for them. My children go vote. My husband. All our committee go vote for Peter. Now you will know. Now great, great Peter. Planted by the river side. Thank you very much, Aisha. Thank you for for being here today. Um, you are the head of all from Aisha. Not by tribe. A Mr. Greg will tell me he's a man to vote for. He loves everybody. Sure Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. The tougher the weather, the stronger it becomes. Oh no. Did you watch the redemption of testimonies being showered on our illustrious son on TV? Your Highness, I was watching it yesterday with goosebumps all over. In my entire life, I have never seen God in man until I met this Gregory. He is truly a worthy son of the land. Oh no, 
I need you to get me the meeting me here. I want to give my own account of what Reverend Peter B has done for my people. The world needs to get an analytical insight of who he is. Hi guys, my name is Yul, Yul Adochi, a Nollywood actor, Nollywood director, EZDK1, and I'm saying keep watching Rock City TV. Don't touch that guy. Yes! If you doubt me, go and verify. I will go and verify. Man, the way gets sensual. Man, the way gets a better plan for the people. Now, who be that to? It's all be. Man, the way love of God. Oh, oh, oh. Man, the way bring joy. Man, the way can march for the people. I say, now, who be that to? I say, now who be that to? Be Toby. You gotta carry everybody along. You know they're discriminating. You know they like to be late.